Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop, your one stop for co-op news, reviews, and playthroughs. I'm Peter, and tonight I'm playing Marvel Champions. What's up, Terrence? It's going well. I feel like it's been a long time. Long time. That's because it has been a long time, Terrence. It's been three weeks since we played Marvel Champions, and uh, I gotta be honest, I haven't played zero times since I last played on you, stream. You have not played zero times? I have not played zero times. That is, and I have not talked zero times since we last played either, apparently. Um, yeah, so no, I played zero Marvel Champions, so I don't know what I'm doing. And so to ease myself back in, I picked a champion I'm very comfortable with, very familiar with, uh, somebody who's super easy to play, no problems at all. I made a Hawkeye deck, uh, who I do like, by the way, but <laughs> definitely not somebody i played a million times recently and uh yeah so we'll see how it goes and uh just before the stream i, I it's a uh, leadership deck which i guess could swing either way but you know hawkeye's a pretty attacky glass cannony type of a character terrence says to me right before the stream hey by the way can you thwart i'm like uh you should have probably told me you needed me to thwart <laughs> I, I, this is one of the few scenarios that has the plus two acceleration yeah it's all um, and just low threat threshold, um, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, Terrence, just so you know, I could thwart one every turn for you, baby. One. Like I can. Nice. One, two, three. The magic stat line for a defense <laughs> character. <laughs> oh, my. So this will be fun. Uh, so we are playing against Magog. For those of you who aren't familiar, it came out in the uh, what's his name? Mojo pack. Mojo pack. Mojo right. scenario. Yeah, so this is the first Mojo scenario. I said, Terrence, I'm gonna need something uh, quick tonight because I don't know how much uh, how much I got in me. So uh, we went for Magog, and uh, yeah. So do you want to remind people a little about the scenario and then tell us what this card is that nobody's ever seen before? Yeah. So this the Magog scenario is a fun kind of Coliseum one. If you can't kind of tell from the background of his art photo, uh, but you're kind of just in a Coliseum dueling this guy. Uh, and it isn't about defeating Magog though. That is how you get points. Um, we're trying to basically get the crowd behind us thematically. So when Magog basically gets to punch us in the face, he gets to put two ratings on here. And once we get to, um, five or player or 10 in our game, we flip this card over. And then when we get to five more per player or 20 in total, we lose. And then we're basically trying to do the same thing. Actually, it's on 10 the on the other side. Yeah, five per player more. Uh, so it's 20 in total. 20, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Oh, that's um, right, because they don't go away. Yeah, they don't go away. Yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's basically the halfway point. Um, and then, you know, the challengers is us wooing the crowd over, and we need to do the same thing, except it's a lot more work for us. We have to actually, like, there's, you know, some encounter cards here that does stuff, but then there's also um, some, uh, when you, the one that is always available is when you actually, like, take away all his health, so that'll be 10 per player, 20 hit points in total. Once we beat him down each time, we get two counters per player. Or, so he just has to yeah, punch us. Player. For one damage, and he yep. gets two counters. We have to kill him twenty hit points to get our two. Well, oh, we get we get wait, two per more. player, so we get four. Yeah. Oh yeah, but wait, there's more. Uh, yeah. When the scheme would be completed, place two counters, two per player counters on the champion, and remove all three yeah. from here instead. I I don't know how to describe that mechanically, but you know uh, that is that's the condition in the game, or thematically rather. Yeah, well, it says teleport to a bizarre arena. You must fight for the audience's entertainment and your lives. Um, yeah, I guess that just means they're getting bored of us. Like, maybe we just aren't doing anything when we're flipped to Alter Ego, so he's, like, scheming. That makes um, sense. I mean, like, what do we blip out? Like, I I go out to my muscle car. Like, I'm seeing you yeah, all later. <laughs> hide in corner. <laughs> right. Um, um, so what's this card in the middle yes, I see this, here? This, and so by the way, is, Mary's here. Is, Hello, Mary. Hi, Mary. It's been a long time. Uh, just talking to any of the, the people on stream, too. Uh, this is from... This is one of the spoilers we have from the Con of Heroes Challenges set that I right. designed. Um, that will be around at the con. Um, so this is the one for uh, Magog. 
And so it's called Are You Entertained? And so the condition is after players perform their mulligans, we get to search the encounter show environment and reveal it. Um, and so fantasy has a specific uh, show one. I, I know like you and I have talked about how this is the only one scenario in that mojo pack that doesn't start with the show environment and play. So I thought that would keep it interesting. Um, and then the other kind of extra kicker challenge here is that uh, you have to beat it before you go to the cheering side of this champion thing. So it basically drops it from 20 down to 10 as the win condition. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, wait, wait. I, uh, you have to keep it on the booing crowd. So, like, when oh. we win, it has to be on booing. And you start with the environment in play. Yeah. I, I figured uh, you wanted short, uh, but you didn't specify short win. Well, I, I did short. not. So Terrence decides to um, put something in to, to make it much harder. Why can't I find the environment? Uh, I don't know. I mean, because I'm me, like, you could just say there's that. Only, there's only, like, 26 cards in this deck. It's, like, super tiny. I know, and I'm still having issues. I did see the dragon, so I know you put fantasy in there. Yeah, it's definitely in here. What do these look like? What do I look like? What is going on, Terrence? I don't know. Oh, I, I mean, I, only the audience can see you, and I can't. Here, I found it. Uh, it's right here. Game of Mojo. Is that game it? Game of Mojo. It I is. got it. Woohoo! All right, each player's hand size is plus one. So do we put it in the it, beginning? It, it, it is after the mulligan. So uh, that's how we troll you. So oh, Terrence. Terrence. That's like the uh, the symbiote suit in that one mission where it's like, oh, by the way, you got to deal with the bad stuff and you don't get the good stuff. Yeah, so I picked this because it has the uh, boost, the amplify icon here. So it makes it extra hard to even harder to not take damage. Well, you didn't pick it. I'm the one who picked Fantasy. No, you... Fantasy is in the recommended thing down below. So you just happen to... I didn't say anything because you already picked it. Because <laughs> you already set it up that way. Nice. All right. Uh, yeah, so that, that's how I picked it. Just to, you know, it makes it a little easier for him to get that extra damage. Uh, in. So you're just being extra mean. Um, I'll talk one second about my deck. My deck is all about Mockingbird. Mockingbird, when you uh, discard her... She prevents all damage from Clint Barton uh, after an enemy attacks. So I basically have lots of ways of trying to get her in my deck. But as I told Terrence, she's probably the bottom card of my deck. So there's that. And yours is all about not today. Uh, this is the new protection card that came in Rogue's Pack. Uh, it's kind of like Jump Flip, but um, you get to remove it from any scheme and not just the main scheme. And it's plus two defense instead of the like prevent two damage. Okay. Um, so I kind of just wanted to lean into that with Groot because he has those growth counters, and yep. I think he likes that plus two defense um, more than like trying to not take damage and then have it kind of hit his growth counters, right? Right. So yeah, because not taking damage means that the the growth counters still it, go first, but if you defend, yeah, exactly, you do block all the damage, and so no growth counters go away, or as I like to call them, Groot counters. All right, you want to go first or second, Terrence? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. You can go first. All righty. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Is it like the, the person forces, who has Terrence, played most recently goes second? Joining Forces is the name of the card. That, you said basic card, man. I did not. I did not say basic card. I said, I, what's the card? The team up card. <laughs> it's Joining that, Forces. That, I, that I, I think is basic. I was like, you mean Cosmic Alliance? Oh my god! Like I don't have it. Yeah, I'm guess so guess what I had in my deck, Terrence. All right, well, why don't you go first while I now figure out what card I want to double up, what cards I want to double and triple up in my deck, because uh, I think I want an extra make the call. I think I only have two of them in there. Uh, an extra regroup. I think I only have two of them in there. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh my gosh! So now everybody gets to go through my deck with me, even though I didn't want to go through decks at the beginning. For time's sake, there's Mockingbird. She wasn't Mind at root. the bottom, by the way. Uh, so there's a third make the cool. call. So hopefully... Yeah, so I asked Terrence if he had any Guardians in his deck. He's like, no. Why would I have Guardians? Just because I'm a Guardian? Uh, so there you go. Yep, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, except I got to get my whole hand now. And 
Wait, did you actually want me to play my turn? Yeah, go take your turn at this point. (laughs) Uh, I I actually, since I don't watch the stream, I don't know how much you like look over my stuff while I'm playing. I usually do. All right. So wait, did you already play three cards? All right. Yeah. So what'd you play? I mean, they're all one cost, right? It's protection. Yep. Event protection. So I got a hard ignore, which will be good for us. Uh, Vine spikes, which eh, like good, but not probably not going to use it very much. Yep. And then Indomitable, I added these in specifically for this scenario. Um, this isn't normally in the deck, but I figure it, probably being able to maybe defend for you is might be important. But Early uh, for sure until I get my Mockingbird thing going. Yeah. Mock- um, but yeah. I also only have two yeah. growth counters because I didn't get a fruition or anything. So it'll be pretty tight on early. That, Cause you, yeah, because yeah. you don't have the, the play. Well, you might draw some defense cards, though. All right, so I drew my starting um, hand. I will attack for two. Oh. Unless right. you want me to thwart for one. No. Kill him, Terrence. Kill him good. I mean, I do have stuns and stuff like that, too. So, I mean, there is... Yeah, you have that stuff. I just... It's just like, I don't know when you're going to draw any of that or whatever, right? So... All right. So, Terrence, I have a Mighty Avengers in my hand turn one, along with Stinger and Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl, probably not as important right now, because there's not a bunch of stuff on the board. Um, Do I try to just put... I mean, Mighty Avengers with even Stinger works for two. That's what I'm saying. Like, is that where we're going turn one? What's Med Lab after an ally is defeated? Oh, that's that card. Oh, well, I don't need first aid and I don't need Squirrel Girl. for. Oh, dude, Med Lab is basically useless. Uh, I pitch it. Okay. Well, just because like you don't you don't want to be chomping allies normally. Well, it's not from because... chomping. It's uh, de- defeated from consequential. Oh, yeah. and, oh consequential. And yeah. once I get uh, what's her name out, once I get uh, Mockingbird out, uh, like I have nothing else to do with my allies, right? So I figured that they'd be. Dying. Oh, yeah, no, no, men, men last pretty good. I just wonder until you get set up, how good will how much we'll be able to flip down right until that point yeah, yeah. all right so oh i got an expert marksman which is good electric arrow oh that's tough it's also good to not do turn right. one and i, I mean you gotta figure bow, out right? what, what are you sacking to get bow i guess first aid right no one's healing this turn or do i not oh because i'm not gonna flip down again yeah so i gotta get my bow right that's such a jobbing that he has to like pay for his bow where nobody else. I mean, does. He's, he's not Thor, man. Come on, it's not a magical bow. He's just a normal human. I understand that, but what does paying have to do with it? What does that symbolize? Him running back to his shack and like. So yep. I mean, do I electric arrow and expert marksman this turn and save you Mighty just, Avengers? You're just abandoning the Mighty Avengers strat. Well, I mean, so do I not? Oh, so you're saying maybe I put Expert Marksman in and Mighty Avengers and not Stinger? Or do so I not play Expert Marksman? That. It's so hard not to play Expert Marksman. And it's so hard not yeah, to stun I feel, I feel like you just, also, right? Like, do you just, yeah, do you just, I don't know. I, I feel like, yeah, I, I don't know how many allies you have in your deck. I assume a lot. It's uh, no, right? it's only six. But there's plenty of stuff I can do to fetch them, right? I'm not worried about fetching. Is uh is Mocking- Mockingbirds an Avenger traded she as is. an ally? Okay. She's uh yeah. she's Avenger and Shield traded. And Shield. Um Amy, I feel like you gotta play my Avengers if you have the double resource in your hand. Alright, so one, well, two, three. I guess the stun would be nice, but we'll see. For Mighty Avengers. So Mighty Avengers again plus one attack and thwart to everybody. So wait, are you saying to put Stinger in instead of stunning? Or no, I mean then you marksman? just put Marksman in, right? Yeah, I mean so it'll help me pay for arrows the rest of the game. That's tough. That's a tough turn one. Like I mean everything good. I mean it's what I, you do when you build a deck, right? Hopefully everything is good. Yes. Uh, should I thwart? No, I guess I attack for three, right? Yeah, so drop down to 15. Yeah. This is not going to go well for me first turn, by the way. I get punched. Uh, we do get six cards, though, so you got that going for you. Yes. Hopefully, I get all my defense cards. By the way, I don't have it. Oh, I did get my quiver. 
which is like very rare. But guess what? I don't have Mockingbird. Yeah, but you can make the call at least for Stinger now. Yeah, I can make the call for Stinger. We also have. Uh, I mean, you can confuse and flip down. That's pretty good too. Yep. Yeah. Or one of us could flip down. I, it, I mean, who's going to take all the damage here? Unless you're blocking for me. <laughs> like, if you're blocking for me, I'm fine with you going down. But, yeah, I don't know. All right. All right. Uh, I mean, I can do both, right? So, can I four. so, four. Or not on that, but four on the main threat. Yep. Acceleration. Halfway to dead. Um. Yeah. I guess Root Stomp has got to go. All right. Uh, I am defending this attack. All right. So he's attacking defense. for three. And then two more from there, plus one from the boost. So that's another three. So total six. Uh, and I defend for five. Is that true? With Desperate Defense, yes. And so you lose right. a counter, but you didn't take damage. So Magog does not get the favor of the crowd. Uh, and I do ready. Because of um, and No, because of Desperate Defense. Ah, right. Uh, I will hard to ignore to drop the threat by one. Yep. Um, okay. All right. All right. So uh, I'm getting attacked. I mean, I could just take this to the face if I go down. Do you have any other defensey stuff? I don't, but I do. I mean, I still defend for three, right? That's eh, fine. Up. I'll just take it to the face. I mean, he'll get two counters, but what? Whatevs. All right. Uh, that's just what happens early on. I mean, yeah. There's nothing we can do about it. Three, four, five, six again, and I'm just taking all six because that's what Hawkeye does. He's punched in the face. Uh, that would add two counters over here, and then let's go ahead and draw some cards. Your encounter card, my encounter card. Ah uh, man, remember when you only get one encounter card? I mean, oh, man. remember but then when you get, you get a encounter. dragon in front of you who has retaliate and toughness? Oh, yeah. At least I have, have... I have knight, but not in my hand. <laughs> you do have explosive arrow, I guess. Or vibranium. Piercing. I do. So we'll, we'll have to make some calls because Quinn Carrier is also in my hand. Um, oh, hello. What's this you say? One revealed if the champion is on its cheering crowd side, place an additional threat per player here, but he is not. When defeated, place one per player rankings on the challengers. So there's only eight threat on there. You know what's not great is the double. Double acceleration? Oh, there. Yeah. you know what's not great? Everything that's going on right now. Yeah. Um. I mean, because I'd love to confuse him. That would be good, you would think. I, I, th I think you just confuse and we call it. I mean, right. I can punch the dragon-ish. Do I Quinn Carrier then? I mean, you put Quiver down, right? Come on. Like, right. So you put if Quiver I bring down in... and see what arrow you draw. All right. Well, if I get an arrow. All right. Explosive's going away, I think. For the Quiver. Yeah. And the Quiver, I will exhaust it. Search the top five cards of my deck. Not an arrow. Not an arrow. An arrow, an arrow, and an arrow. All right. Um, I feel like cable arrow. Yeah, seems good. And then I'm going to shuffle the rest in, though, right? Yep. And it's fine. Okay. I cannot. All right, so I'm just making the call. For Stinger with my Vibranium Arrow. Okay. Well, then I won't be able to... I can Sonic Arrow. Yeah. That's yeah, right. you can still Sonic Arrow. You have extra marks on. Yep. All right. So, in comes Stinger. Uh, then I pay for Sonic Arrow with this and this to do three damage and Confuse. Bink, bink, bink. 
I mean, because I have to go down, right? This is not. Yeah. This is not really an option at three health. So do I flip and heal? Yep. I gotta spend my bow to use an arrow. Because you heal for like three, man. It's like pitiful. <clears throat> I do have a crew quarters in here somewhere as well. Uh, so Stinger, what do you want Stinger to do? You want Stinger Thort. to clink? Thort for two before you flip down. Off main? Yeah, it has to be before you flip. Oh, because I'm, yes. I'm not shield on this. You're Yeah, you're not Avenger. Yep, or Avenger. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So before I flip down, I would Thort for two on main, right? Yep. Yeah, this is not a uh, bodacious start. Mary cool. says, second turn quiver, lucky. Yeah, I don't feel lucky. Except all the other crap. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I gotta be honest, I don't feel lucky at this point. I mean, I'm not unlucky, but... I, I think I put unflappable in, probably. Oh, yeah, and then you're putting in hard to ignore, right? Well, I wonder if I hold hard to ignore and get the two growth counters. Yeah. Hard to ignore like, is only main, yeah. Yeah. I mean, two growth uh, I mean, still great, still great, good. but but yeah, I mean, I I feel like the two growth counters for I how agree. much pressure this is is probably the the right call here. Well, especially because you also have a dragon in front of you, by the way. Who's yeah, but I at least defend for three, so I can at least full block that if I have to. And we can also actually chump the dragon because he's not the champion. Wait, do I have piercing? No, I get range. Yeah, the vibranium. You know the vibranium. Is it is piercing, but since it's also a lightning, it also doubles damage, so that does twelve. Oh, so I could have just killed him last turn, is what you're saying. Thing. No, no, it's twenty. He's twenty. Oh, but still. That... But yeah, get it like tw like twelve twelve plus. So what you're saying is getting rid of get tough. another vibranium arrow. I, I I have one more in my deck. Yeah, I I I think that's the plan. Is like you should. Well, because I can also with attack with range to too, like just my normal attack has range so yeah yeah it should well range three because you have bow bow is plus one right that's what i'm saying oh I, two i meant also yeah i, I meant i am ranged as well because i believe my arrows have to be ranged right no only your only your arrows are ranged you yourself are not ranged oh wait oh is that true uh um, yeah it says your arrows are range got it which makes sense it makes sense yes all right um, uh, I am standing, do I pitiful thwart here at one for how much th pressure there is out there? I feel like that's maybe the right call, actually. Yeah, go for it. I, I will thwart for one. Yep. All right. And then ready up, draw up. Don't forget that extra one. So I get seven. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I did get my crew quarters, which is good. I also got plan B, which seems weird, but I also feel like a lot of times I have one extra card. That I don't know what to do with. You know what I mean? Oh, and I got Mockingbird and Vibranium Arrow. Oh, Terrence. Why does this deck have only cards I like? <laughs> what is going on here? All right. So up to six. Brant says, what? I thought you guys had quit the game. Come on, Brant. Get out of here. We just, life got in the way. Um, that, that was just Peter playing the game I've played while he was gone on I, other I, channels. I have not I've played. I've guessed on other channels. Yeah, well, I guess I didn't say. I was at Unpub last week, which is the unpublished game convention, um, where I was testing out prototypes. That was two weeks ago, right? Because your family was in town last week? Oh, yeah, and my, family, my sister-in-law was in town. So I could have recorded last week, but it would have been very weird. You just, like, like, kick her out? Be like, hey, I, I have responsibilities. Get out of here. Yeah, there are ways I could have done it, but, like, just to be nice to everybody, I didn't. Um, so, yeah. So, all right. Well... Uh, I added the six. That's for sure. He's confused, so he doesn't scheme against me. And then wait, wait, how much did you add? It was two four. plus. Two. Oh, you're right. It's six more. Yes, you're correct. I forgot these two. Uh, wait, do you smell what Magog is cooking? Really? I never. I don't think I read that before. Or if I did, it's funny again to me because I haven't read it in a while. Um, yeah. So apparently, Magog is the rock now. Uh, all right. That makes sense. It makes sense. Yes. All right. So he's attacking you're, you. You're... We're just gonna say for four. We're just gonna include the boost in from the all beginning. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I need some desperate defense here. 
All right, so he's attacking you for four plus a boost of two. Their shadows. Everybody drink. Uh, so that's just one off. That's six, that one true? counter off again. Yep. Which means you remove uh, one from me. Hard ignore, and I will take that card. Unflappable, I would assume so. Yes. Not today. Not today, son. Not today. Not today. Ooh, do you want to use that on the dragon's attack to remove some threat? Yeah, I was thinking about that. That's your call. I mean, it depends what your other stuff is. Hard to ignore. Fer feral ground. Feral is ground. So like, that is like your best shield. card. Oh, vine shield. Also, really, your one of your best cards. Yeah, that's. Tough. I guess I can't. I guess I can't. No, no. All right, but you're still gonna ignore or block it all, right? Yep. So I readied. Yep. All right. So exhaust yourself, right? No, I readied from desperate. Yeah, but he's now attacking you, the dragon. Oh, yeah. I'll block all this. Unless you're chomping with Stinger, but we probably want her to thwart. Oh, she has a thing on her, by the way. Well, I do have good news. I have Mockingbird. Bad news is I got none of the stuff so far that helps me pay for her over and over. Um, So there is that. Uh, but Yeah, I almost wonder, like, do you need to not play her this turn? I don't know. I mean, that would be tough, though, right? yeah i mean i could i could make the call her next turn but anyways uh that's a, cards. that's a tough call um yes so we each get bad cards is that how this game's played terrence i don't remember it's been a while uh, this, uh is this the one that called me dan yeah this means you can only take damage from cards with a fist printed resource uh when defeated you get to remove two threats from the scheme though that explosive arrow seems good though for that exact reason. Uh, deal three damage to the villain. Each main engage with that player. Uh, all right. Uh, surge when defeated. In player order, each player may search their deck and discard for... Uh, no, it's only deck. Deck for a card and play it for free. I mean, there's 12 thread on it. Yeah. I've been around for a long time. What, what, why, don't, why don't we just focus on this, Terrence, and just forget all the other schemes of the game? Uh, by the way, surge again. I mean, to oh. be fair, that is nothing but positive for us. So just uh, place two, two uh, on here. Place two raining counters on. I mean, just, just Terrence. I mean, at least you don't get punched in the face at the same time. I mean, touche. Surge. I was making room for the inevitable set of surges that I believe was going to happen. Oh, here we go. Uh -oh. Uh, I should readied or something. Well, yeah, I asked you about Indomitable. Uh, so, do you, I, I mean, I assume I'm chumping Stinger at this point. Yeah. Would you? Yes, of course. Discard uh, a card from, from your hand. But I get to pick it, right? You um, get to pick it. Yeah, I mean, plan B of all these cards. Because I feel like I have to play every other card in my hand. Uh. Oh, that's So we got to put two, two ratings on this, right? Yep. And does he attack you again? I don't know. You're confused. Place two throughout the main game. Here you go. I got a big one for you. No, I have tiny ones. Um, you can use a small one. It's fine. I mean, All right. now that was a pretty good is turn. This a thwart? This isn't a thwart. So no, I can still do it. Yeah, I mean, unless you have a thwart card. <sighs> no, and I even think not today is also. Not the thwart. It's just removed two threat. I mean, I also feel like... All right. So I feel like I can't play Mockingbird. But I feel like I also can't play Vibranium Arrow. I feel like I want to play Crew Quarters. You got to play Explosive the call would be Arrow nice. for sure. Explosive Arrow would be great. Wait, what do I get to do when I kill this dude? Remove two, two threat, threat from a scheme. a scheme. I mean, I do have this Cable Arrow too. I kind of feel like I should play the other extra marks expert marksman yeah I've, you got to play the other expert marksman all right so make the call goes away or does vibranium arrow go away or, or i guess i can get rid of mockingbird and pray that i get my last make the call uh is that true uh, yeah you do you do you dump crew quarters
I mean, to be fair, I'm not going to need crew quarters if we're doing our job. So do I... All right. So let's dump crew quarters. That's the first hard decision. Here, I'll move your stuff. Now I flip over. And... I mean, am I for sure explosive arrowing? Or, or Well, let's do this. Let's do the quiver. One, two, three, four. I mean, do I get the other cable arrow? Or do I get electric, which is stun? I guess That's I, your call. Are, are you, I guess before you flipping over, do you want to heal up to full? Well, no, that's Probably. what I'm saying. I don't know that I can. I mean, what are you going to do with your three damage? I was going to ready again so I could shoot two arrows. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, by the way, if you don't know, exhaust Hawkeye to ready a bow. Um, and then the bow you have to exhaust every time you play an arrow. Yeah. I mean, I was going to play Vibranium and Explosive Arrow and not make the call. I see. I mean, is that the right call or no? Yeah. I mean, you definitely want to play explosive to get rid of this dude, and you get to remove two threat. It's pretty good. Okay, well, let's start with explosive, and then we'll talk about whether I do vibranium or electric arrow, because I could just stun the boss, too, and hold vibranium till next turn. All right, so I'm an explosive, which does three here. Um, and three here. And then remove two threat from a scheme. Again, I assume main for now. I wonder, like, do we need to just eat this, like, first to encounter thing and just, like, burn pump the crowd down? I mean, I, that, that's what I was thinking before, potentially. Um, The problem is right now we lose it on the, like, for sure lose it, right? So maybe we pump it below this. So okay. that way it only goes to 11. And we okay. at least have a chance of saving it. And then we... You know, because I could take three off of uh, a scheme. So, yeah. I mean, I could do three. And if I'd taken the other cable arrow... Which, do you want me to go back and... Yeah, but you can't, you, you, can't, you can't do both both arrows this turn. So it doesn't matter. No, no, not this turn. I was thinking, though, next turn, I could double cable arrow to, like, really take that away if... Yeah, but you're gonna draw. Like you're gonna draw a whole. You're gonna draw a whole hand here, and you're gonna quiver out of fifteen cards. It's like eleven yeah, out of fifteen. So you're 15, right, and it's a hand of so seven like too. Good. So do I vibranium to start working on dragon? Who I don't think we're gonna kill either way. Although it clears a card from my hand, or do I electric arrow to take some pressure off with the boss? I feel like you got electric right as. T bad as that sounds all right so one two what do you think I, I mean i'm fine with that so three in stun yeah i just feel like that's done like we only got four more counters that can go on here before we lose the challenge but we we can lose the challenge and finish the game yes yeah so that's the thing about these challenges right i mean you say you got to do it on the booing side but you know we made it a little harder for ourselves by putting this in at the beginning of the game but if as long as we win, we still win. We just failed the challenge. Yeah. All right. Oh, I had to exhaust myself to ready my bow. I did not bowy bow stuff. Okay. Um. I gotta so, put hard ignore in. So uh, right. Brent says sister in law could have played in the place of Terrence. I mean, I do try to replace you every time. Like you, you can't play Terrence. Um. And then, I mean, I replaced you. I replaced you with uh, Kenny Hawk. Uh, and, uh, Brent says, why does Peter have, um, seven cards and, uh, oh yeah, Mary explained it to him. Uh, yeah, we have uh game of Mojo out. So that's part of this in ca uh, challenge we're doing. You actually start with the encounter and play. Um, so I feel like it's only if it's only, <laughs> I'm the only one who's been taking the negative side of that so far, but I mean, it's fine. I, I, I well, no turn. One, I took six damage, Terrence, to my face. All right, um, I, I think Vine Shield's probably the better call here. 
over fertile ground and just hold this. Oh, fertile ground's so good, though. But yeah, you're not going down this turn, right? So, Or maybe ever. I mean, I'm going to confuse him again at some point, Terrence. And it's... then you'll probably go down for it, right? No, because I got the one side of the Mockingbird combo up. I got no pieces of the Mockingbird combo at this point in time. But once I get those pieces... You know what would be nice is Death Focus. <laughs> uh, for you? Yeah. And I still don't have any part of it. Although I do have my two Cable Arrow thing we just talked about. Um, I got a mansion also, but I, that's not going in. I got blade. So anyway, all right, where are you at, Terrence? Uh, well, you're first. So we're we gonna to go do... up to eleven, as we just said. We are yep. then going to have him pretend to attack me, but be stunned. Then he is actually going to attack you. Yep, I will defend. And you really defend. That's a super So defend for six. Yeah. And he attacks for Horses four freaking plus three. Horses. That's still, I had one left, so that's, I'd block all of it. Yep. Uh, hard to ignore, please. Uh, so two off. Is it always main? It is always main. Yeah. All right. And I will burn my indomitable already. Do I care? Do I just take this damage? Well, at this point, you don't have any counters. Yes, right? Instead of... Yeah, I think for sure. So then do I even bother reading? And just hold Indomitable for later? Yeah, I mean, I you're going to be turn. super sad if he gets an attack on either of us. Although you can't really block that much anyway, right? Yeah. All right, so keep Indomitable then. Is I mean, that the right call? You could take a big punch. The problem is if it's me that gets attacked, it could be game over. Yeah, all right. I'll burn it. All right. Uh, I mean... So you take your three from him. I take a card. You take a card. We all take a card. And the villain in each minion engage with you attack you. Well, I'm super glad <laughs> that you ready. Although you're not... Oh, well, you have three defense. That's why you're better off than I am. So three to his four attack. Plus two. Um... Six, six, so total. down to one. No, 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 six, because you have three defense, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get three more health back. Wait, I thought you were making fun of me for not having played in a while. What's going on, Terrence? All right, flip yours and watch it be another attack, and then it's game over. Oh, no, just no. that. Honestly, except Surge. for the fact that you had... um, Oh, game oh. Surge. What's this one? Retaliate and Stalwart? Yeah. <clears throat> so we got to kill him. I mean, number one goal is probably to kill him now, to get rid of this garbage, right? Yep. I mean, I guess we don't care about it that much. Yeah, until you actually have status effects. Right. Well, right now I don't. Well... Sure. All right. So your first player this time. Yeah. Um. Well, get I your can't. two counters right. Oh, you have fertile yeah. ground. Sweet. Yeah. I think I burn. I'm Groot. Probably right. I'll have five counters, but it's pretty good. Do you have the attacking one? Oh, oh yeah, you're exhausted. Mm. You're calm, man. Yeah. I just want to put fertile ground in. Oh no, for sure, fertile ground comes in. Place a growth counter. Uh, draw a card. Yeah. Hey, remember you wanted death focus? Yep. I'll burn a genus to put death focus on. Seems good. 
Do I get real lashing vines, you think? After Groot uses a base power, move two growth counters. Probably and then keep for entangling. now. Yeah. I mean, I assume you're putting. Do I put? I put Night Nurse in, right? Yeah. Well, you're not going to thwart this turn, so may as well, right? Yeah. And that lets you heal yourself and get rid of your confusion. Yes, which allows me also to potentially use now an actual thwart. All right, so I put this in. Once I flip the hero side. And then fruition gives me two more. And nice. get up to five and this to get rid of confuse. All right. Not a bad turn. Seeing oh, I got nine kicked. down just showed up. Nine down says like good evening all. First wow, Terrence upping his mic game. And uh I didn't even notice. You got a new mic, Terrence? Yeah, do I not sound any different? Oh, you sound excellent. Totally different. Uh, <laughs> totally different that you didn't notice. Yep. Uh, and two, love the name of this modular for Magog too much. All right. Nice. Uh, okay. So we are... Oh, what is the name of the... Uh, are, are you not entertained? Are, yes. Nice. I mean, it, it makes sense, right? Yeah, no, for sure. Classic, right? I mean, yeah. Classic I, I mean, movie. if they're using the rock over here, I think you're pretty safe using um, Gladiator for Magog. Uh, absolutely. Yep. All right, so it's my turn. I guess I should have done this first. So let's see what the old quiver turns up. Nothing. All stuff that I would like to have in my hand. So is this the, the turn I put in Mockingbird? I mean, it feels like the right call. I mean, Avengers Mansion would be the only other play, but I don't, I don't think so. Um, and well, I don't Mocking, Mockingbird thwarts to three, man. Yeah, that's that's not a terrible thing. Uh, do you want me to double cable arrow and get just get rid of this thing now? Or, because what does it let us do? Just put a card in play? No, that's this one. No, that's that one. This one basically puts two challenger rating. Well, and gets rid of this, the double acceleration. But the double acceleration is the big thing. Which means we would still lose this, though. No, it only goes up to, a, oh yeah, it goes up by four. Yeah. Is there a way I get blade in, too? One, two, three for Mockingbird. No. I won't be able to get Blade and Mockingbird in. But I only need two Thwart. So I could not put Mockingbird in. It's what you say every time. I mean, <laughs> at some point it'll be true. Uh, I mean, because I could chump with Blade. But that does add counters here. Um, so what don't I spend here? I mean, I feel like Mansion, I'm going to have to spend here. So do Yeah, I... and Regroup is definitely not as good this game. So do I hold Vibranium? Oh, yeah, I'm still holding Vibranium because eventually I'm going to shoot your dragon, right? So there you that's, go. That's the hope. That, that's my hope. Uh, <laughs> Three for my I don't know what your hopes are. <laughs> so do you want me to focus main scheme this turn? Do you want me to finally use my vibranium and start hurting this guy? Like, what? What are your? Well, I guess. I guess what's the plan here? You. The plan was. Do just we just get rid of this? Do or we? Do we burn this? this, or do we? Do we like? You want me to burn the main? along. You want me to burn the main down to nothing? I could do that. Yeah, I guess you do have that much thwart, right? I have. Yeah, I have nine. I mean, the other and option the, is to put. Is the, Three is on the here plan and six here. Yeah, is the plan to slow roll the side scheme then? No, I mean, the plan is to get rid of it, but I, I don't know how. <laughs> I yeah, mean, I, I think you do three and six probably makes sense, right? So three puts this down to what? Um, six. Six. 
and then goes up to 10. No, not if this is still around. It goes up to 12. So I'd have hey, to do six to on here and three on here if we're yep. doing that. Is that what we want? Or, oh no, I can't thwart because I will. No, because be you had double arrow. I mean, I think we're definitely double cable arrowing. The question is where? So that exhausts me in this. And then we're definitely thwarting with Mockingbird. So three I mean, is yeah, definitely you... going here. No question about that. Yeah. So and the... then we do six here, I guess. Or do we just lose this to to get this? I mean, we can't really lose it, right? Yeah, it just puts two more. It just feels bad to lose it on acceleration is all. Yeah. I mean, so we're going to have to add eight to this this turn. So it would be up to 11 again. Yep. I just, I mean, that that is literally all my thwarting for a while. Well, I mean, I'll be doing three a turn with Mockingbird. Actually, between that and you're hard to ignore, that, that means this is gone next turn. Well, I can't hard to ignore that. Oh, you have to hard to ignore the main. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, if I get any ally at all, they should be able to take two more off. Yeah. Oh wait, do I get plus two or is it just my allies? No, just just your allies. Yeah. All right. It'd be broken if you got it. I mean, would it? Because I'm arrowing, man. No, well, it's plus one on all your stats, right? Except defense, like plus one four. Plus well, one not ten. life. Yeah. All right. So ready up, draw up. I mean, the plus one card is. Oh, I do have a make the call. So I will be able to have another air. Oh, and I got an Avengers Tower. Oh, and team building. All right. It's all coming together. Oh, man. But again, all on the same turn. Uh, okay. So you are first player. So we're going to add six. Wait, that only went up to nine. Is that right? Yep. Oh. Because it's 2-2-2, two, 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 so it's 6 Yeah, nine, okay, so it wasn't up to 11 again. All right, so it's not as bad as I thought. Um, and I don't need you chumping for me anymore. Now, the no, only but I don't, have any, I, don't, I don't have any defense events, which feels bad. But All right, so you're getting attacked by Magog right now. Let's deal yep. with that first. All right, so I will vine shield because i don't have any defense events so, so six for he's attacking six. for four with nothing 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 all right so two yeah. hard to ignores boink boink you get to draw a card from unflappable and you get to ready yourself right don't you oh no those are events never mind no all and right i just take the three to the face which sucks oh that does suck do you want me to block it for you i can block two Means yeah, but don't don't you, you you probably want to use arrows to two arrows this turn. I mean, I do have arrows to use. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it sucks. I mean, I don't so know if I will fine. be able to use Sonic Arrow this turn. In fact, I mean, it doesn't that you you might draw an arrow with Quiver, right? Or is there not an arrow in know. your deck? Honestly. I have not been good enough at keeping track at this point. I don't. Uh, I think there's one more explosive arrow, maybe, which I can also use to help take care of your dude. All right. Well, anyway. Okay. Um. So you just took the three, or do we want to yep. meet a block? No, I just took it. All right. So he's going to attack me. I'm going to Mockingbird. When the villain initiates attack against you, you spend one resource of any type and return Mockingbird to your hand. Prevent all damage from this attack. I mean, that's what this deck is all about. He Sonic, right? He burned Sonic because he has yeah. Stalwart, right? Yep. All right. So that was that. And I still have to flip a boost card, which is my obligation, which I'm quite all right with. And now we take our cards. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. This is not great. Well, it's not terrible, two actually. plus zero, so just, just two. It's just one, right? No, I have a lie. Oh, right. Boom, boom, ba, 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 na. Oh, Now that is no. terrible. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. We weren't really getting that anytime soon anyway. 
right? Question mark, question mark. Uh, yeah, I feel like the size team base is like a kick, kick a set of people who can't thwart to save their life down. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is at this point. All right, where are oh, I'm first player? Yes, sir. Quiver. Yes. There's Black Knight. No arrows. Is this an arrow? Nope. So you have no arrows in your deck is what you're saying. So what I'm saying is I wasted everybody's time there. You're welcome. I got a bunch of allies coming. Uh, on the flip side is uh, you're going to draw that entire deck. So you'll have all arrows left. Yeah, so you... for, for next turn. All right. So I feel like Tower is the first one I play. Sure. I mean, team building, I don't know. Oh, it, actually, team building does. I, I don't care about the one extra ally. So team building's just better, right? I mean, why not both? Just kidding. Yeah. Because you want to put Mockingbird in. Both isn't going to happen. So team building. So I got one, two, three. Let's put Mockingbird back in. One, two. Do Vibranium Arrow. Do I just kill him? How much is that? 12? No, it's 6. Yeah, but it's 12 against Dragon. 12 to this dude. Well, I know, but it'll be 12 against him when I draw it next time through the deck, too. Yeah, but I don't like taking 3 to the face every time. <laughs> I mean, are we ever going to kill that dude? Like, anytime soon? All right, so this is 12, and so we have to do 8. Wait, how much you do? You do 3? You do 3. So 3 plus 12 is 15. Is that, did I math that right? Yes. Okay, so don't play Mockingbird yet. Okay. Uh, pull those cards back. Uh, I will... Root stomp for five. And we each get to draw four cards. Wait, wait. He's at 12. Oh, wait, but you can attack him for three, right? Like your physical attack gets him yeah, down yeah. to so five. Yeah, so you need me to attack first. Yeah. Okay, so I take And then I will root one. stomp for five, and that kills him, right? So what is root stomp? Five damage to an enemy. Okay. Oh, and you're saying we get to draw four cards, so yeah, I might be able why. to get my Avengers Tower out. Exactly. I got it. Yes, yes. I like that. You're tracking now. I, I, I like your, I like the I like the cut of your jib, Terrence. Uh all right. So this dude's dead. We each drew four cards. Game on. Oh wait, he was tough. Oh no, I got rid of it with Vibranium Arrow. Yeah. Alright. Uh can you get me a card? There we go. Oh, you decked with those four? Yes, sir. Alright, so my double resource is definitely going toward Avengers Tower then. Um, so these two and Power Man. Um, I actually guess it doesn't much matter. Power Man's probably worse in this situation. So uh, those two and that for this. And do you want me to make the call for something that costs two? Question mark? Or first aid? And hold make the call? What are your thoughts, Terrence? Do you have any two cost allies? I don't know. I have one, a bunch oh, of one cost allies. Squirrel Girl or Stinger yeah. are kind of your choices there. I mean, that gets you two more Thor on the table, so that's five Thor. How much difference does that make for you? I mean, five Thor's good. And then you just hold first aid, maybe? Because healing's probably good. At this point, we're not flipping down. Yeah, all right. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, so make the call. For Stinger. Search for Stinger. Who also doesn't yeah. count against my ally limit, which is good. But it's an extra chumper if we ever need it as well. So, yeah. I got five thwart coming up here. 
So what do you think we do there? Uh, well, let me look. So this is going to get six on it. Yes, so we need that to get, would get up to 14. So we need to get rid of all of this. Or I need to do all five on there. Okay. If we're holding hope alive, right? Which, I mean, at this point, we may as well. Because I could have done it last. I mean, if I was ever going to do it, it was going to be last turn. Oh, and I did Vibranium Arrow. So. All right, but I got Team Building and Avengers Tower. Like, that's the key. Because now Mockingbird costs me two cards every turn for three thwart and taking zero damage. Yeah. Which seems good. Um, and even better if I can get my Quinn carrier out, which, uh, team building will also help me. I think it's Avenger traded. Um, it is yeah, that or Avengers mansion, just ways to get more cards. Actually the plus one card to turn is super helpful as well. All right. So I'm done and you have a full hand of cards. So do some things. I'm going to play nerve of steel. Which will feel, which feels yeah. good. I feel like you've been waiting for that for a while. Yeah, you know it's always good once the last hand draw. Are you as, as hard to is, ignore right? as well, or? Yep, uh, definitely doing that. So uh, then... We are grouped. I don't have four of those, so that's going away. Yeah, that's why I was like, "Why are you moving everything?" Uh, so that will be good. Definitely putting this in. Plus one armor seems good. And yeah. you don't have a dragon attacking you in your face every turn. So that also seems good. Uh, Which one do I keep? Desperate or not today? I not mean, today. Not today gives you defense, right? Like They both give me defense. Oh. All, all, my de all my events are plus defense. Yeah, two threat seems better than readying, ironically. Well, and you have indomitable, so you can ready anyway. Yeah, I'm basically really trading that for that. Yep. Yeah. Cool. But, I mean, that's a lot of cards on my deck. It is. Your <laughs> deck is down to 26 cards at this point. I mean, this yeah. one's going back in in a second. But All right. So, ready up. We draw up to six. Yeah. So, that's five more cards. That's two. I take an encounter card. Oh, what do you think about this double fruition, though? I mean, double fruition seems good when you're not flipping down anytime soon. Double regroup, not so good. Although, not terrible keep stinger alive right i mean i can double fruition wait and then I do you see my hand i literally have three regroups <laughs> that's what plan b's for right i mean yes absolutely and whatever you're drawing with this arrow this quiver yep i mean because i'm definitely gonna electric arrow uh we have to kill i mean that, that's just that's just easy decision for you to uh pay for mockingbird right well that's true yeah we got first aid also to heal two damage from somebody maybe stinger keep stinger around a little bit longer Never yeah, sad. I don't know. I probably should have put in the uh, buff that gives them plus hit points as well. Team um, training? Yeah. Yeah, just just to keep around these plus one, plus one allies longer. I figured that's... Yeah, it makes sense, but it like kind of doesn't with Mahimburn because she doesn't get the benefit of it. Well, so, sure, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, so we're adding six again, so we're up to ten. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That, that's real. But isn't this like put something in for free? No, no that's, that's this one. stupid thing. Gosh darn it, which we're never doing, by the way. Um, all I right. mean, maybe we are. Maybe if you're, we're just thwarting like, like champions, we will. I mean, I could start, like I said, if I make the calls, regroups. I think I will first aid Sting. I mean, if I, if, I, if, I, if I stop getting punched in the face... Uh, and I can actually build up counters. Well, I'm stunning like the... next. If we defeat this form and get rid of this stalwart crap, I can stun this turn, right? So we got that going for us. We just... there, there's a good chance. Like I have a double fruition in an Iron Groot. So that's at least four damage and potentially five. Nice. All right. Well, don't forget electric arrow. Yeah, I guess the stun would happen. I mean, you can Stun punch an enemy yourself. And deal. Oh, that's true. I could punch for three. Or I can punch, right? Like, yeah, I'll be true. first player. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. You will be first player. All right. So we went up to 10. So now Magog is going to attack you. Uh, I will defend. I, I figured you probably, probably would. Uh, you were going to say not today. 
Uh, not not today. <laughs> I don't know why you exhausted oh, wait, no, Indomitable. Okay. Is that the one? That... Uh, there's a yeah. steal. <laughs> I, mean, I think because we moved all my stuff around. Oh. I don't like this card. So he's plus one, plus one. Forever. No. No, I mean, After, we're about until to. Until we kill him. So we're just about this to. Is, get... this, is, this, is, this is the best time we just decked. So these. Yeah. These, this guard didn't come back. All right. So that's like on, and only a five, but I defend for six now. So two threat off of a scheme. What do you want? Well, you're going to do the three. I'm doing, I'm doing three off of main. Yeah, so, so two here. We're doing three that. off of main. Right? Yeah. Because we might be able to get this. If I get a Sonic Arrow with my quiver, like, we're in business. We finally get rid of this garbage. I feel like Ooh. things are coming up us right now. Do but I? We ready. Also, two encounter I'm probably cards. ready, right? You, Yeah, you have to, dude. We're having four encounter cards. You, you have to. Like, there's too much chance. Uh, the th the, oh, no. I'm not even worried about him uh, scheming anymore. Because I think there is an advance in here. Because I, I've only remembered seeing one. Um, but it's only one. So, that's not, so uh, oh, not today. Did you take that off something? You took that off side scheme. I did. This was at nine. I took it down. Okay. All right. So, now he's attacking me. Uh, I am going mm -hmm. to um, regroup. You bring Mockingbird back to my hand and uh, ignore all of that. Oh, well, at least we don't have this seven health tough garbage. <laughs> yeah, and you got to use, well, you don't have to, but you get the bonus on the mental. I mean, I, yeah, I've got a lot of, a lot of options. Okay, so go ahead and take your second encounter card and let's do this. Bink, 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 bink. There we is. go. I called it. Uh, so it's three plus one is four. We got very lucky there, by the way. We got very lucky there because of this stupid garbage. That oh was almost god. very bad. Oh my god. Of course. Exhaust your identity? Of course. Double surge? What's this one? Oh, wait. All right, so draw two cards. Wait, then you pick first which... choose a non-wild resource type, then draw cards. So what is the resource type that you are calling? It has to be... I only have one. Which one? Electric? That's fine. I mean, I'm going to lose my electric arrow, but that's fine. All right, so draw you two cards. You card draws two, right? Yeah, yeah, that actually worked out. I discarded one. That actually worked out just fine. And did you just discard uh, one as well? Two. Well, you have two root zombs too, which is freaking great. I think that worked out better. Of course, he attacks me. All right, do you? I, I can chump this with Stinger. Is that the right call? Probably is, right? I mean, it certainly feels like the right call with you at five life and him with all this plus crap. You are confused. Are you arrows thorts or are they just remove threat? I don't know. We'll figure that out. I mean, you have a okay. night nurse. I don't care. <laughs> right? yeah, that's true. That's why I pack it in. Right. I Take mean, that up. You should always Americano. pack it in. Uh, discard an upgrade or support you control. Okay. Uh, bow, JK. There's <laughs> got to be something not as useful. One I mean, what is not weapon? useful? All your stuff is useful. Yeah. This is when you wish you had plan B out. Yeah, well, it's got to be one of the expert marksmen. Like, everything else is way too important, right? Yeah, it just feels bad, for sure. I mean, it certainly does, but what else am I going to get rid of? Oh, you son of a dog. <laughs> just when we're like, okay, we got this. Guess what just happened? We don't got this. Uh, so the first thing that comes out is this guy, who's Quick Strike, for two. Sure. I mean, you have a second stomp or whatever, so we got that. Oh, hey, look, another acceleration freaking thing. Does Quick Strike you for what, two? Yeah, I That's just took terrible. the two. I took the two. 
Um, Clint Barton player searches their hand deck and discard pile and player for Mockingbird and places her face up beneath this card when the stage is defeated. Well, that's, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, that's a thing. Oh. Hey, so there's all our thwarting? Well, and I, I don't have Mockingbird and Stinger. Oh, Stinger. I don't have Stinger anymore because Stinger just... Hey, remember how we said regroup wasn't that useful? Yeah, that would have been useful right there. All right, Terrence. Uh, you were first yeah. player, so deal with it. Uh, can you do all of that all at once? No. Well, I can kill him. <laughs> you can kill him and the boss, right? I mean, the boss is the more important one. Oh, no. He's well, sick. Suit stomp him. Wait, this guy? Crossfire? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I get a counter, right? Yep. Uh, oh, you have no way to do one. Yeah, I was just going to wait oh, for hold you on. to punch whoa, whoa, whoa. Him or something in the face. Let me quiver. It's an it doesn't have to be on my turn. I have events, so I can do it on your turn. So you can, like, punch him in the face or something. Is it explosive? Oh, you got rid of that guy. Uh, electric. Why don't you just take like Sonic Arrow? Sonic Arrow flip down. I mean, explosive seems like the better call. I can't flip down. Don't forget, he's got stalwart right now. Explosive seems like the better call. No, no, no. You, you punch him in the face, and then on your turn, you I... unleash the oh, Sonic Arrow because it's an action. Punching him in the face doesn't kill him. Punching him in the face will, will allow me to oh. root stomp him. But here, oh, wait, 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 wait! Forget that, forget that. I will double fruition, right? And now I'm up at six, and I will just punch him. You, you're exhausted, dude. No, punch him with I am Groot. Deal damage equal to the number of growth counters. I have six. He has six health. Oh, he's dead. So you're not root stomping. I mean, I, do, you, do you want me to root stomp? I can root stomp. No. Because at this point, then you can go down and heal and, and, and do right. do things, right? So Sonic no? Arrow. Or do I stun him? I guess I... No. All right. We we want me going down with my three light, three health, is what we're saying. Yeah, that, that was that was my thought. I mean, I have three uh, first I mean, aids can... also. Don't forget. Yeah, I just think you get the bigger hand. You, you know, I don't know. I mean, do you want me to go down? I well, you don't I need just, to. It doesn't look like. I feel like you, I feel like you got to draw into right, like. Well, can you can you thorty thort stuff? Right. Yeah, so I lose that. I get a health. I mean, it feels real bad to have nothing to use team building in Avengers Tower on right now. This is like, honestly, terrible. What's what I have in my hand at this point? All right, so we're gonna use this an expert marksman. And I'll get rid of one of the regroups to Sonic Arrow. Oh wait, so he's dead. We didn't do any of the he's dead stuff. So let's, no. So we put two counters in here, that. or this goes up to eight. No, 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 oh, no, no. It goes ten. One. Wrong one. Where was this? This was at six? Oh, this was at six. Yes. Yeah, no, we get the bonuses when he dies, dude. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So it's two, four, plus killing him is four more. So it's eight counters we go up to. Dude, look at that swing. We, we got the crowd on our side, man. Yeah, no, no, that's the great part about that. You know, what we don't have is he's definitely popping the crowd up right now. <laughs> yeah, so how, I mean, we're, we can't, we can't do anything about this, right? I mean, it's plus three acceleration. Yeah, it's like he's it's going up by uh four plus three, seven. I got nothing. Um so I'm assuming... now, now if I can keep these counters, I have something. Like I can definitely like if I can get an I am Groot, which that doesn't tell you which of the I am Groot it is, but Yes. If I can get the I am Groot that thwarts, you know, that that could be like six. Alright, I'm doing three damage and confusing him. So he's down to seventeen. Yeah, I was about to say he should be at twenty. So, uh, and... but don't we get? And each player gets an encounter guard, unfortunately. Yes. 
Yes, yes. I mean, yes. it is what it is, right? I almost feel like we should have gotten rid of this earlier and gotten rid of this earlier. I don't know. Like, that time I had nine, I probably should have just popped this. I mean, literally the next card we drew is add four counters to it. So that was, like, a jobbing. Um, okay. So I definitely want a plan B. And then I'm going to first aid. Who do you want me to heal? Eve. You, right? I'll take it if you're... Since I'm going down. If you're going down, you're going to heal, right? Yeah, I'll probably heal. I mean, unless I just thwart for one or hit him for three. I don't know. Do you want me to hit him for three? Well, no, I, I just heal. I'm going to plan B, right? Exhaust it and discard a random yeah, yeah. card, which is first aid to do two. Then flip down flip and heal. Down and heal. Yeah. yeah, that crew quarters earlier would have been nice too because I would have my expert marksman still. All right, so ready up, draw up. How do you feel about seven card hand though? I mean, it feels good to have a Quinn carrier. But how do you feel about I am root? It feels good to have energy and genius and a cable arrow. Those things feel good. I, I don't know which I am Groot. I am Groot. Oh, remove threat. Oh, I don't want you to lose counters, though. Maybe we should have had you go down. Dang it. Now I'm regretting that. No, this it's doesn't remove counters, though. It's equal to the number of growth counters. So, yeah, I know, I, but if you would have gotten up to 10, card. it would have been nicer, right? And you wouldn't have had to... Yeah, but yeah. If I, I got the other punched. thing, I, it would be a seven. I could just stop this, but I assume this is the priority here. So you get Mockingbird back. Yeah, I do need a Mockingbird. All right. Well, this pops, right? So what happens when this pops? He gets two per player. Oh, yeah. So that pops it. By the way, we each get draw a card. Oh, that's the. Uh... So we lost the challenge. Um. But this goes back to zero, right? Yep. Or does it go down That's to two? Zero. This is remove all threat. Okay. So now you are first player. So yeah, it feels bad though. He attacks you. How yep. are you doing with that? I will defend. Never back down. Double never back down. Never back down and not today. I definitely do not today. Do I do? Never back down also, just to be safe. So that way yeah. you don't have to use counters. Well, it's only a three, right? A three plus th th four. four is seven. Yeah, but then I stun him. And it has to be good, right? So you're never back downing also? Yeah, one never back down. Some plus, I'm defending for eight. So he literally can't get there. Definitely not with that. Yeah, but it, but now I get the stun and I get two threat removal because oh. I'm ex I don't have a way to ready. So where are you so gonna take? I, I assume you're taking that off of this one then. Yeah, it gets that down to five. Yeah, so I should be able to take care of that next turn pretty easily. In fact, because I will be able to get you. I will be able to get you, Mockingbird. Yes. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're going to clear this, and then I should be able to clear this. No problem, because I already have a cable arrow. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. Things are things are looking better. Uh, now we do have to take two encounter cards, so there's that. Uh, so he would thwart against me, but he's confused. All right. Do your two encounter cards. Minimum two. Deal three damage to your hero, so that feels bad. That's terrible, in fact. Because now you can't get me Mockingbird back. I mean, I have Squirrel Girl to get the last two off of it. it. Yeah. So. Who's that attached to? Villain. Plus to attack. I think you're going to have to get rid of this. Do you have yeah, wild? I yeah, I have, have uh, wild? I have Queen Care coming out this turn. Yeah. Okay. Dude, your nemesis set kind of sucks for me. Oh, never mind.
I mean, do you have the resource or are you exhausting? I do have the resource to get rid of this. So I think no, I, I mean, you, you, you can, you could just discard, discard your bow it. and pay to get it back. Yeah. I think I have to. Okay. Well, cause if I exhaust, then I can't get rid of this. Right. Yeah. Surge. I mean, that's good. I don't mind getting rid of those two stupid things. Uh, what the, what? Oh, wait, this is not supposed to be in the set. Yeah, right? Don't you put that aside at the beginning of the game? I don't think so. Nope. Oh, all right. So seven villainous after surprise contender attacks and damages when defeated. Because isn't it? Yeah, he also comes out again when you beat challengers. Oh, so he's just like really yeah. in there. Yeah. All right. So this feels bad too. <laughs> Remember how I said we have things under control? Yeah. I don't. I don't feel like that's true anymore. I mean, I do have seven life. So, whatever. Stop crying, baby. What are you doing? I forgot to draw my card. Did you forget to do the three? Well, there's none on the thing, which is why I said it felt bad. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, so my turn? Yeah. Um, hey, you're doing 14 damage. You're not. Yeah, no. Oops. Uh, you're, you're getting your bow, right? Is it your... Yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I got to pay something. Blade? I mean, Blade's two thwart three times. Squirrel Girls... Uh, you got to pay the physical for it, though, right? No, not to thwart. Just to attack. Oh, is that true? No, it's on, it's on both. Ah, never mind. All right. So Blade's gone. Um, Do you get my bow? I mean, good thing I was alter ego. Then... Well, I mean, you're going to be alter ego because of your obligation, though. So it's actually, like, really nice. It's, like, one of the nicest obligations, I think. All right. So then I flip over. I'm going to use genius and team building to put in Quinn Carrier. I'm going to exhaust myself in Quinn Carrier to get rid of this garbage, right? Are you going to quiver? Yeah. I'll quiver, too, but oops. Let's flip that quiver right over. Do, 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 do. Which one's Sonic? Is that the confused one? That is the confused one. Well, I don't have a choice now, do I? So, Hedgehog it is. I do have Electric, but he's already stunned, isn't he? Yeah. He is stunned. You're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, I could stun this jobber. Honestly, it wouldn't be a terrible idea. Um, but then, so I could either exhaust him or cable arrow. What? Do I have any decent allies here? You stinger. Is that the only one? Because I do have a make the call. Yeah, so why don't I make the call? All right, so hold on. I'm going to Squirrel Girl first. Let's do that. Right? Yeah, you can use Avengers Tower to, to decrease by one. Well, can I do that for Stinger or no? No. Isn't that? Because you have to pay the printed cost. Which I assume means you can't reduce it. Right. So, I mean, I don't really have much of a choice here. I mean, why do you... If you're going to put Squirrel in, I don't know if it's worth playing Stinger, because you still have to cable arrow, right, to get Mockingbird back. I mean, I could Squirrel Girl and... I don't know. Because there's no way you can get the five, right? Or actually, no, no, no. Uh, You play... If you play Squirrel Girl, I will get you your last three. Okay. I'll do three Iron Groot, which feels super bad. 
three for three, but we'll do it. It's down to two. And then Squirrel can just get rid of it. So okay, just... so I'm going to make the call then for Squirrel Girl. Yeah, and then use your tower. And then use my tower for Mockingbird and my energy, right? No, no, no. You need... You still have to pay two, right? So make the calls only one. I paid... Oh, oh, oh. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Well, yeah, Electric Arrow is what I'm going to have to pay to bring Mockingbird in. Uh, and then Cable Arrow, I've got my expert. Yeah, left, exactly. Right? Okay. Um, so Squirrel Girl came in. She did her one Plinky damage. I'm going to use her to thwart for two. Get rid of this garbage. Get Mockingbird back in my hand. I mean, here's the other thing. I guess in theory, I could just chump this turn with Squirrel Girl. Hold on to Mockingbird, because Electric Arrow does seem good, right? You know what I mean? To stun this guy? Well, I guess I don't care. I have seven life. It's fine. Does he put counters on? He does not. Place one raining counter on the champion every time he damages something. Oh. Well, but, I mean, we're done with the challenge at this point, so it doesn't really matter as long as we don't get the 20. I mean, do you think I just cable arrow and take this down? And then, oh, I could take this out this turn, actually. I mean, that seems the good. The challenger? I can. Oh, that? Now, what's it going to do to us? Oh, it's going to pull him out, right? If you do this? Yes. Yes. Oh, well, then that's definitely what I do. What do you mean? All right, so I cable arrow, remove three from this jobber. Then I play Mockingbird with these three resources here. She gets rid of this, which adds two. No, is it two or two per player? Two, one, one per, per player, player, so two. So it adds two, which gets flips us to this. ten, which flips it. By the way, you give it a tough status card now. So it's a race to 10 now. But now, yeah, so now he has tough. I mean, whatever. Like he has 14 life. Also. I I'm, saying, not, I'm not, I'm not going to stress that. Um, And there we go. Right? Bye bye, baby. Okay. Goodbye. It's your turn to cry. Uh, for my turn, I'm gonna play Flow Like Water. Oh, why am I drawing cards? And why am I only drawing five? It's fine. I'll draw my six. Aren't, cards. Weren't you first player? I was first player. There's a button for that. Right. There's an app for that, Terrence. Oh no, raid decked again. Well, yes, that's the negative of having a five card deck. Five card deck. <laughs> it's like you deck multiple times in the course of a turn. Um, so I got four on that. And then Magog attacks me. Which of these cards? Yeah, Mockingbird, right? Well, the question is which card? Is it Medlab? Medlab seems good. Well, I don't know if I'll when I'm gonna flip down, but I could put Squirrel Girl away. Like stash Squirrel Girl with Medlab. It's up to you. Probably explosive arrow. I'll probably use cable arrow, right? Well, maybe. I mean, not. how much of threat? How much is? Well, I guess it goes up. It only goes up by four, or five now. Well, I'm Got thinking, can we get this, and I can get like Avengers Mansion in for free? I, maybe it doesn't matter to you. Yeah, cable arrow. All right, I'm gonna spend cable arrow. You're right. The threat is not the issue right now. Oh, well, he's stunned anyway. So I'm doing yes, that to stunned. avoid the contenders thing. Which would have been two damage, sadly. All right. Is he attacking me? Yep. Uh, what do we want here? Not today. Not today, son. Not today. Or desperate defense. I mean, you... You want to be readied with the way this is going. I mean, you could do both. 
Yeah, but I also it'd be nice to get force field generator out too, right? Yeah. Because then it's so just, just like one. so just do desperate defense, right? Alright, yeah, so undefended for seven. Yeah, I mean you can't two. get to seven. You got it exactly to seven. Never mind. <laughs> can't get to seven. I forgot the dragon head four boost icons. Alright. Uh remove three threat off the main scheme. Draw me a card. And full like water do damage to him. This dude? No, no, tough. To, uh, no, to him. Does it have to be full like water? Yeah, to the enemy attacking you. Got it. All right. Yeah, I mean, you you can definitely get Groot up to like three three damage for every enemy attack, which is kind of nuts because you can get Dauntless and yeah. the electrostatic. But all right, so uh, encounter cards. Yep. Oh, I'm first. Sorry. Oh, Wilt. I mean, you can get rid of it from the game. Do I go into Alter Ego? Well, I mean, either that way. Your own, that's, your, that's your only card, right? Yes. Do I just flip and... Exhaust, right? Exhaust? You don't want to lose three counters, do you? No. I mean, the only benefit of losing three counters is you're going to get three back. And you could do, like, some of this crazy stuff here. Like, super attack, super thwart, whatever. But, I mean, removing that from the game seems good also. All right, so get your second card. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, that's part of the problem with flipping down is, like, I actually want those attacks, right? I mean, do you, though, at this point? Uh, let's go up to 20. I mean, who cares? At this point, we're not getting it. <laughs> You're stunned. Take two damage. Oh, it's if exactly they're more even. Ready. So, no. And then you can give them counters. You're not doing that. Just take the four damage, yeah. right? Although, does that come off? off oh, no, because you no, don't no. have that on this yeah. side. Four, you four damage to if they're more raining counters. There's none, right? So it's just two. Dude, it's even. Ten to ten. Yeah, so it's just two. Yeah. Okay. Then we're good. You take the two. All right. Go ahead. I mean, I, there's not. Yeah, there's nothing else you can do, right? All right. Um, so I'm going to get three more. So I'm up to six. And draw a card. Draw a card. Oh, double root stomp. So that means I have to do how much damage to this guy? If I do three more, you can kill him, which is just my basic attack or explosive error. Yes. Oh, oh I'm, I'm stunned. Get to tough. Just... I am stunned, so I'm going to burn my night nurse yep. to get rid of that and, and go up to six health. Those don't have pierce, do they? I can't imagine a root stomp on a pierce. No. It would make sense that would because that's a big freaking like limb crushing that dude. Yes. Uh, flip out. So what are you saying? Well, I said if you double root stomp him, that's ten damage. After I do three. So one. But you don't need to. I mean, it does give us two rating four rating counters so it's just as good as killing magog although it's harder at this point to kill him than magog um what what are you doing on your turn i guess before i decide well let's do this that'll help me decide oh black knight i mean i'm taking vibranium I mean, arrow you can take a vibranium and just punching him right it's like six plus pierce. Yes, correct. I didn't even need to see what the other cards were. They it, they did not matter at all. <laughs> um, um, I may make the okay. call. Also, we'll see. All right. Know. So, what are you doing? So I'm playing. Is a single rune stop enough? Pro yes, at this point, yes. 
Okay. If that's the case, I will do one, two, three. Three. Put out this. Yeah. And then I'll put, you know, I think it's always good just to have a ready. When you take any amount of damage. Now that yeah. that's after Since you it's, lose all your things. No, no, no. Since it's a force interrupt, I can choose to trigger this before my other force interrupt. Ah, nice. All right. Oh, wait. So it's can you basically. Pay for root oh, no, I can't. So I'm not paying for that, actually. Because <laughs> uh, I only have the one death focus. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you're done? I am done. All right. So first things first. You can pay one, two. Mansion to put out Mockingbird. Uh, so Sonic Arrow, no. Vibranium Arrow, exhaust this, this, and this for Vibranium Arrow. So that is piercing and six damage. So that's up to seven. Yeah. So I need to do what, two or three? Uh, it's 14 and I do five, so I need him to be at five. You need nine, right? Five plus nine is 14. So I need two more damage, two, two more damage. You can just All right. punch. Squirrel you can, you could, you could. Two. Okay. Right. Or do you want me to thwart? Oh, no, no, I could punch. No, I punch for three. You could explosive arrow, I guess. If I was you thinking about explosive arrowing. Um, I was thinking about making the call for Squirrel Girl too, which would be one more damage, but that we don't necessarily need. So I don't really have a good use for my strength right now. I guess I could Sonic Arrow. Why didn't you use strength for Mockingbird? Oh, because you doubled. And then what am I going to use Tower and yeah. Team Building for? Yeah. All right. I mean, I, mean, you I just have to make it. the call, right? Yeah, what are you making the I call? You're just going to make the call squirrel? That's fine. That's what I was thinking. That would be a, another damage. That we're, I'm yeah. one short. Is no, she it? hits for two because of Mighty Avengers. No, but then she'll hit for one more when she comes out. No, 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 no but she, nine is enough. Nine's right. enough for Roots. I'm well aware, but I'm saying she's going to do one when she comes out anyway. Yeah, but that still hits boss, so whatever. Yeah. All right, so that's right. two more. I'm root stopping. Yep. So you get your counter, and we place four counters on the challengers. All right, so we're getting there. Um. Yeah, I guess I Sonic Arrow now, because Explosive Arrow doesn't seem as good, right? Yeah, I mean, might as well have it to confuse, right? And you started down, so you can't go down, correct? Nope, that's correct. So, as always, I will be the one to go down. <laughs> oh, when did this acceleration just come up? Just now? No, from, like, when we decked, like, two turns ago. Okay, so then this should be at three then, right? Or, oh, no, you removed three. That's right. Um. So, do I med lab? Or do I... Sure, if you're... Good. I mean, if you're going to do that, you should have done that before. Oh, yeah, because I'm going down now. Yeah, just pay for the med lab with Make the Call. Yeah, so... And then put Squirrel on it. Yep. So do I have to be down to play a card from it? Yes. All right, so then I'm going to plan B. My explosive arrow. For two. All right. Why not? Uh, and then she'll attack for three? Sure. And I'll attack for three? So that's six more? Sure. I mean, may as well attack. There's no reason to explosive arrow, like, because I just have to pay for that. And then you Then I flip down, and then how do I do this? That's next turn. It, you gotta exhaust it. And then play just her. Just to put her on it. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, we, I, yeah. I, I had you, to exhaust it too. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I've never used it, it before. It allows you, it basically means like it's forcing you to wait a turn, right? Because technically they're in the med lab for a turn. Yep. Oh, so she does have a counter on her. Uh, hey, I actually get to double Mockingbird. Use her two turns in a row. Uh, I draw seven, so I'm definitely decked. You know, we could actually get this. Get what? But why? Uh, I mean, literally. Uh, just to, just because I have I'm Groot in my hand. We have to do 23 damage to win. Oh, uh, just because I have two I'm Groots. <laughs> That's it. That's 14. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we have to do 23, and I got lots of attacky stuff. Including Vibranium Arrow, Black Knight. All right, so attacking. <laughs> I'm going to have Squirrel Girl. <laughs> this goes up by five, is that right? Up to seven. Uh, I will. Do I back down? Never back no, down. I won't back down. No, I won't back down. Or do I just... No, I have to defend it to have to draw a card. So I'll do that. So you just normal defending? Never... Oh, no. Normal defending with never back down. Oh, which stuns him? Yeah, because if I take this undefended, then I don't get to trigger in my crap. Oh, so... he just decked again. Yeah. So hold on. What was the last card? The, the defender thing? No, that yeah. can't be right. No, this card was. This card was. So is this not in there? It is in there. Because I decked yeah. when I was drawing at the end of my turn. Which was after we killed him. Remember we killed him last turn? Okay. So he is stunned. He's stunned and confused for so long. Take three off of main. Oh, don't you take two off of something? Because of the card you played? Oh, no. It was the stun. And then he takes a damage off of full like water. I mean, that literally, unless you have a way to do two, doesn't matter. I have root stomp. For two? That's five. For five. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's me growth counter. All right, where are we at? Um, so he's confused. That's where we're at. All right, draw your card. No, I won't back down. Tax me. He's done. Cool. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he so, doesn't. So, Maga attacks, hero defends. I did not. Does that mean? So that means the rest of that doesn't actually apply because he's stunned, right? The hero defends and takes no damage. Yes, uh, I he did, did not, not defend. defend. Correct. Did we forget that to was... do that in the past? Though I feel like we've had that before. No, I got I got that for uh, place the two ratings. The villain so schemes just... for his one. And it gets revealed. Well, good thing all the stats effects are gone. <laughs> well, I mean, the good news is, in two seconds, this is going to be an extra yep. one per player, which wins us the yep. game, by the way. We don't have to kill him a second time. Killing him once now wins us the game, right? Because he's now worth six instead of three. Yeah. Or instead of four. So, yes, this will win us the game. By doing two damage. <laughs> that actually could not have been... Oh! Oh, hey, there you go. Uh, can I play root stomp? Thanks. Yeah, just root stomp. We win. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Let me hear you so say. I way feel like yo. I feel like this feels good. If like we barely lost this challenge, I mean, we feels we like good, good literally challenge. barely lost it. Yeah, I feel like and that means I I've hit that that right kind of balance there, right? Yeah, like we didn't get blown out. Um. And, uh, and I guess let me ask honest, you what do, what do you what do you guy. think of what do you think of uh, I guess the challenge? It was good. It was good. I mean, I like fantasy. I feel like we hadn't played it in a while. I feel like playing against Magog with a big dragon in there as well, and like extra ways to do extra damage. But at the same time, when you kill stuff like this, you get huge benefits. Um, fetch quests, stuff like that, are just fun. I feel like. Um, Fantasy is, yeah, a, is a very good I'll be honest. Card. The Amplify was the only reason I picked it. Well, of course. 
But the plus one hand size feels good, right? Like you want some yeah. stuff that makes you feel good as well about it. Um, but before we get too much into discussions here, let's transition over to our post stream discussion. Um, yeah. So no, no, the challenge is good. So you have you already posted all of these for people? To no, see? we haven't posted all of them. They're in the pack though. Uh, MCM has a blog that previews. I think like the splay where some of the cards are covered. Yep. Uh, I forget which ones are in the image. Um, but yeah, there's, as you can see, eight, eight cards in total. Yep. And so people can start playing this themselves right now. If they go, we'll put the link in the show notes um, where they can find this challenge card. I mean, yeah, I don't know actually what splay. Let me see. What, ha what have we spoiled? Yeah. You said splayed. Uh, I was confused. Splades, like, you know, like in FFG, I guess you don't even read those. Uh, they, like, do the picture where some of the cards are covered. Got it. Got uh, it. So the ones that are on there are not this one. It's you can have them, which is the Sabretooth Challenge, uh, okay. where you have to defeat Sabretooth before rescuing Robert Kelly. So this and one hadn't the... been spoiled. We're spoiling it today. Yeah. And the other one is the Motherhood of Evil Mutants, which we did last time. Nice. All right, well, there you go. Spoiler. Spoiler alert, I guess. <laughs> well, you know, we got to do it since Fancy Flight isn't releasing any any content, so. Yeah, and I reached out to the person again, who, by the way, talks to us all the time. But, um, so, originally he said he was sending me something, but I think he was talking to Mike. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, but, yeah, no, we're not hearing anything either about um, about it. It's fine. You can come to Kana Heroes and you'll get new content that's fun to yeah, play. Yeah, for sure. No, I, I mean I'm looking forward to to what's what's to come, right? Um, and I don't know. I, I didn't prepare you for anything tonight, but um, speaking of what's to come, we're talking about doing like a a card game podcast once a month. Um. Which is not just going to cover the LCGs, but other things like Sky Terror Horde and um, what else? Uh, um, Ashes, Reborn, and games like that, uh, potentially as well. So it's something in our thought process. But what that also means is maybe on some of these Fridays, we may play other LCGs um, or other card games in addition to um partially because there's not a lot being released right now uh and i feel like there's a lot of content seen but if our normal friday night like marvel champions crowds like no way like we want to see marvel champions every week but i don't know do you guys want to see something different um do you want to see lord of the rings do you want to see maybe some arkham lcg missions would you like to see sky terror horde um uh, i mean we could play that for 15 minutes and still have a full stream so <laughs> that one that one's not as big a deal. Po post stream discussion sky terror horde game yes yeah i mean we could literally play in the middle of while we're doing this although i feel like for you and i it would be 30 minutes to an hour um i have to imagine co-op takes longer and with all the talking oh you've never played co-op I've only played it on the before during the Kickstarter. I've not played it. Oh, okay. And it wasn't uh, it wasn't nearly as good then. No, none of it was nearly as good then. So, um Yeah, so something to think about. Let us know if you want to see other stuff on Friday nights. Um I feel like Terrence and I could be it could be like Friday night card night uh or whatever. We'll we'll have to think of a, a catchier name. So if you have a catchy name, let us know that as well. Um and then we'll see. Um, maybe we do the podcast either on a normal night where Mike and I would do the podcast, so like a Tuesday or Thursday, or we do it on uh, – we just do it in place of our Friday normal Friday night stream. Or depending on the week, it could be that as well. Um, but I don't know, Terrence. What do you think about less Marvel Champion streaming for more variety in what we're playing? Uh, I'm fine with it. Obviously, I have a soft spot for Marvel Champions because I feel like that's that's what we've been doing for a long time. And I mean, it's been what two years? Yeah, 
feel like that's a long time for the course of the life of the game, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, part of the thing is, yes, we come up with new challenges every week and we have new stuff to show off. But at the same time, like, there's a lot of other games out there as well that there's plenty of content to show off, right? Like Lord of the Rings, I feel like you might even like more than Marvel Champions, and we haven't seen a lot. Um, now for that, I will tell you, Terrence, you're building me all the decks. Or if there's like a way to, to figure out the precons, um, we can do it that way. I, I think that I think the precons are on Rings DB, yeah, uh, because people want to import them into uh, Dragon cards. Yeah, so we'll do that. Although we'll probably do TTS. I know last time we did a different mod, and I, I understand it's way easier for the math, but I also feel like TTS is a lot prettier to look at and. Uh, you know, shows off all the, the neat art and stuff. So, um, yeah, so let us know. Um, and Arkham, too. You you like Arkham as well, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, it is easily my least favorite because it's the least card gaming uh, sure. for me. Um, but, yes, I like Arkham. I, I have it all. I collect it. Um, I mean, we could do my favorite cycle. Although I haven't played any of the newer ones. Have you played through all of them? I have not played through all of them, uh, but... Uh, I mean, you could certainly play through one you haven't played through as well. Uh, like, I haven't, I definitely haven't done Scarlet Keys, uh, but I've heard that is in... It, it definitely stretches, I think. Um, it probably would not be the first one I would recommend if people are joining Arkham for the first time for us. My uh, favorite's Carcosa. But, to be fair, I've only played, like, the first four cycles or something like that. But Carcosa yeah. was by far my favorite because I love those hidden cards that are in your hand that like make you do weird stuff. Um, so we wouldn't be able to look at each other's hands. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, no, I think that might be kind of fun. Uh, for me, that was my favorite. Do you have a favorite campaign? Uh, I actually I feel like it's controversial. I I did enjoy Forgotten Age just because thematically I thought the kind of tomb tomb raiding kind of stuff like Indiana Jones style was kind of neat. Um, All right. But I also have good memories because Colin left me in a pit and didn't oh. rescue me. <laughs> uh, uh, but I also hated it at the same time because it, it's the one that has the. Uh, where you have to like pull the like this card out from your collection and they don't tell you what set it's from it's like in that cycle uh, they're like like yeah. here's the name of this thing like i like please pull this out and you and i we i remember when i was playing that with Colin, like out of google like what is the like what it, like you know because we play like once a month right like right. one time a month and so it's not like a fresh thing where i'm like oh yeah obviously that card you know like right uh so every time I'm just like oh yeah like what is this thing so i thought that was kind of annoying but and that one doesn't scale as much time wise per player does it or does that one scale as well i think it does it's it, it i mean obviously like the snarrows it varies uh kind of how that works but um i definitely think solo is extra rough on some of those scenarios Ooh, i thought of a name Co-op card games? Co-op card games? CCGs? CCGs? Nice. <laughs> co-op card games? Co-op card gamers? I don't know. But, like, yeah, for our for our uh, discussion. Now, that opens the door for more stuff like Mar Marvel Legendary and stuff like that as well. And we'll see if we ever go that route. Um, I know you want to do more constructible type stuff. I, th I just think it's an interesting space uh, just because one, there actually aren't that many games. I feel like once you just go into card game, co-op card games as a whole, like it's just such an open window and leans a lot more into just like the board gaming crowd. Yep. Um, which may like, there's nothing wrong with that, like fantastic games in that space. And I own a bunch of them and enjoy them, but I just think there's plenty of, stuff kind of there and I, it would I feel think... weird to do legendary when you have steve oh no <laughs> like, i would never I, I, I probably would never do legendary although i love legendary encounters alien have you ever played that one no oh see stuff like that would be fun to do like are you a fan of the alien like property at all 
Uh, I'm not Baron. Oh, that's for sure. I mean, I'll be honest. I, I loved Aliens, the second movie, way better than the first one. But I think they do such a good job with the thematicness. And I actually think you'd like Legendary Encounters Alien. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it open to that as well. Because I would love to introduce you to some of these games, too. Um, so, of the Legendary Encounters, that one... I, I have Predator, but that one's definitely not PG. Um, cause they definitely do some quotes from the movie that are not PG. Not, not PG. Um, uh, yeah, I, I guess my preference for the constructed things, I, I think it's fun to have the meta stuff to talk about things and kind sure. of have those post discussions, be able to come back to it. Um, I think there is not a lot of con like, I, I think like in general, like board game content tends to be very cursory like you you go to a game once and you kind of don't come back unless it's like sure this is the channel for this game and that is all we talk about well um, but for example like um if a new keyforge set comes out with a new co-op expansion to it right i mean i would want to play that um and show it off and i know you haven't played any of the other keyforge stuff have you no i haven't played any keyforge oh okay yeah, I mean, Keyforge is one of my favorite games, so I think it fits in. Are you, but, are you bringing it to the con? Do you want me to? I have so much Keyforge stuff. Absolutely. I, I mean, it. I assume you wouldn't bring all of it. No, you no, no. I mean, like, you just you bring, bring like a few decks. decks. Yeah. You bring a few decks and, and the adventure stuff, right? Well, and well, so if they might be selling it there because the same person that owns Games Center is also the same person that produces Keyforge now. And produces the um, the solo co-op stuff. Because I don't have the official printed stuff. I just have the print and play stuff that they gave out for free. Um, no, uh, You might be able it. to buy it online that... and pick it up there as well. That could also be an option. Yeah, so I could see. I could see what's going on when we go there. Because um, I certainly have probably one of the most viewed videos for it because i the day it came out i uploaded it to tabletop simulator and played against it with some of my decks so um so i do have keyforge adventures playthroughs on this streaming channel um yeah so i don't know ccgers <laughs> cooperative yeah. card gamers yeah i i guess for me like i i kind of want to avoid the like uh sentinels and uh uh what is it um aeon zen esque stuff sure. i just feel there's that stuff's like so covered and other things right like and we um, cover whatever we want haven't you realized that about this channel i mean mike's the only one that just covers everything like i won't cover anything if i don't like it <laughs> like, oh i mean there's nothing wrong like i, I don't think like, i'm not like oh there's whatever people's opinions on are those games but there's like you know not like trying to put those games down uh yeah no but here's uh, the thing I, i'm not saying that i don't play games i don't like and we review plenty of games i don't like what i'm saying is like because i play games so many times before we actually review it if i play it once or twice and i'm not into it I usually won't keep playing it enough times to do a review for it. So it's it's more of a respect for my own time thing. Because right now, like I'm playing a ton of Ashes Reborn, right? Because I want to play through every hero Mike has. Um, Does he, not, he only has 14 out of the 29 only, total or something? Only. <laughs> Right? I mean, there's like 20, 29 in total, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, he has a lot. And I, I, don't, um, I don't even, at this point, I've given up on playing every hero. At this point, my goal is to play through um, every set of dice, at least. If that makes oh, sense. Oh, the aspect? Yeah. The, yeah, so there are different aspect dice. Just like in, in Marvel Champions, there's different aspects. Um, there's different aspect dice there as well. Um, and so, I just played through the horse ones today with a champion um and that was pretty fun are you are you are you in the campaign or are you just doing one-offs 
I'm doing one-offs just because I want to experience every hero. And then I figure once I figure find a hero I like, I'm going to do the campaign ones. Um, I actually like the horse hero a lot. Although I feel like maybe a couple of those cards are broken. Um, the I mean, one... they definitely didn't, don't rebalance them for PBA. That's for sure. Well, yes. Because she is the one cards that are like star attack, three health. That are horses. They're like steeds or something. And uh, you can... Is Odette? What was that? Is that Odette? No. It's something steed. Uh, I, no, I have... is, the Phoenix, is the Phoenix born Odette? Oh, I don't know. Um, don't even remember the name of the hero? <laughs> come on. I didn't even pay attention to that. Uh, let's see. I can... I, I sent picture, uh, Mike a picture... Of my end game. Yeah, so the it's the Squall Stallion is the card. But basically the way the card works is you you have a hand of five cards every turn. If you as a like minor action, you can discard a card from your hand to add a counter to every one of your steeds, and you can have up to two in play. Um Basically giving them uh, plus this, one attack. This is the song person. The mean him tied. Yeah. So anyway, I had like six counters on one of these things. So it's, it's attacking for six damage uh, each turn, which is a lot in this game. Um, and then I had somebody I that mean, could unexhaust just, them just... also and then do it again. And this is like the precon deck. I was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, have you played Mayoni Viper yet? I don't think so. The snake lady? I have not, no. So you recommend her next? No, I mean, if you just like big attack things, uh, her signature card is Summon Silver Snake, and the Silver Snake is a zero attack. But every time a unit, enemy unit, gets destroyed, it get it, it gets one counter oh, okay and then you and then it has cards that also just put counter status counters on other cards so yeah. you can put you, there's a ready spell that you can just put in play and then you ex use it every turn to then like put counters on it so you're just like buffing the snake and then like you know during the course of the game what do you do you literally are destroying chimera units right yeah. so every unit you're destroying buffs the snake and then her like uh side action on her phoenix born is like choose an unexhausted unit and deal its attack to something yeah so let's bring so this back see... to marvel champions real quick and then i want to actually sure. try to wrap up early tonight so there are two games that just came out sky terror horde and and take anything that you're not supposed to know away <laughs> for sky terror horde uh we could talk about that off offline but uh, uh, I don't know really anything besides what's been released. Yeah. So uh, Sky Terror Horde or uh, Ashes Reborn and then the, the solo expansion Red Rains. for that. Red Rains expansion. I, th I think Red Rains is the like PPE mode. It's called Red Rains. And then Corpse of Veros is the name of the this particular expansion. That so for, for a Marvel Champions player. Do you feel yeah. like either of those are better for a Marvel Champions player? Do you think they're better in different ways? Like, if if they were like, I love Marvel Champions, but I want something a little different. Um, do you have one recommendation, another, or neither of those games? Or um, what do you think? Uh, they're definitely different. I I think I think um, Sky Terror Horde probably feels the most at home uh in the sense that it i think it just follows general card mechanics that you're used to from card games the most yep um and i think ashes is going to be a lot more brain burning uh because of how the turn structures work if that makes sense but um it's back and forth you, more yeah it's back and forth but you know like it, it's funny because you do get the like per round you get you don't top deck you get the full card hand which i think you're you you're used to from champions, right? So right. Like, that feels good. But the fact that sequencing matters so much more 
like, you know, like in our games, right? I, I like will say, oh, if you did this thing first, it's like easy to retcon, right? But in Ashes, because you're only allowed one main action, one side action. Yep. That could be like two turns later, right? So you can't, you can't really like roll back time uh, and kind of sequencing cards. And so it feels like chess a little bit where like you push the clock down. Like when you're done with your turn, you're committed, right? Oh, like, yeah you've kind of committed in that way and um except at the I end think of it, the round when the enemy's out of action yeah, yeah, yeah then you just um, do whatever the heck you want <laughs> yeah uh you have yeah, to make because sure the you're doing AI is always passing for every every side action that's the only stipulation well you, i mean you can pass uh but they do get a red ring token for it but um the i i think the brain burning puzzle is very different so if you're looking for i think something that is may, maybe not exactly like champions, but is a deep card card game. I think ashes is probably the better of the two as far as like how deep that brain burning puzzle is. Whereas I think like sky Tear has something that's a little more, I think like at home to people who play champions, um, even though it is a like tower defense, six lane kind of thing. Um, uh, I think the card mechanics will probably come a little more naturally. Oh, well, the sense. other uh, so for me, it boils down to I actually feel like Skyter Horde feels a lot like Marvel Champions to me because you're trying to kill a boss before they do one of two things to you, which is either defeat your hero or run your deck out. Um, so I, I kind of feel like that same time pressure to like fight the boss, defeat the boss. Do I deal with the minions this turn? Do I deal with the boss? Um, no, there's a lot of different things. You're getting mana each turn and you're paying for cards in your hand. You are usually only playing one or two cards a turn. You're definitely not drawing up. And in fact, the only way to draw cards is by defeating minions in that game. So there's a lot of differences, but at the end of the day, it's still defeat the boss twice, right? <laughs> they even have that same, like you defeat it once, another form comes out and you have to defeat it again. Um, but the, the thing, the reason to play that over Marvel champions would be, for me, it feels like a much faster game. Um, games are like 30, 40 minutes, even co-op games, I feel like. Um, whereas, obviously, you're not doing that for Marvel Champions unless you're playing like Rhino Standard or whatever. Um, now, the negatives are the deck building isn't there yet. Certainly for deck builders like Terrence, um, I, I think that you're not going to get as much out of it. You can deck build but there's just a, such a limited card pool. Now, we know they're coming to Kickstarter again soon, so that should expand. Believe I believe they've committed to May. Yeah. Well, and I know they're working on some things, so I don't know if they're going to still hit that date because um, they're still working on... I mean, they, they just posted an update this week that said May. So oh, okay. So it's a very recent... It's a very recent, like... I feel like, <laughs> as you've been talking to them, if they didn't feel confident about May, at least for today, they wouldn't have posted a date, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, it'll be May or, or thereabouts, I would guess. Because what they're going to have to yeah, they, do I, is not that big a deal. Um, basically, they've made more content than they're going to release all at once, I'm guessing. So it'll it'll probably be either a, a lot of options. I mean, it's a, it's a, it, it's a Kickstarter, right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, they, so they could also have, have a lot of everything. different expansions in one. They could just do that, or maybe they break it up um, where they don't release it all right away um yeah i, I, I think know. they've said may 2nd though for like when they're announcing like when they're doing their kickstarter so yeah so there will be more content more options more deck building that kind of thing um i still don't know that it'll ever be as robust as something like ashes or something like uh marvel champions now what i will say is for people who want the more deck building side Ashes is still a pretty quick game, even multiplayer. It's not as quick as Sky Terror Horde, but it's still pretty quick, even multiplayer. Yeah, my games are usually only like three, four rounds. No, four I rounds, mean, number I of rounds is, is definitely short. So, I mean, I guess to some degree, maybe it is even shorter. Um, I, I don't think it's shorter than Sky Terror, but, I, you know, it is four rounds. I think my Sky Terror rounds are faster, but they are probably in the five, six range. But yeah, I would say I can crank games out and... 20 to 40 minutes uh give or take depending on the setup and the draw uh now yeah i mean i i i, I like on the construction side i do think sky terror 
independent of the card pool is just more limited. Uh, definitely compared to Ashes and even Champions. Like uh, one of the, I wouldn't say cons, but one of the things you have to lean into is just Sky Terror is just a lot more RNG. So I think you have to kind of like that be okay with that right like i think in champions and what you, you mean is luck to, based, right <laughs> well just rng of like what you draw yeah. uh like it's not even luck like you get bad cards or whatever right it's just like rng like within your own deck like you're not it, it goes back to the games where you're not guaranteed to see stuff that you're putting in yeah. in deck construction and so like sky tier has a lot of card has rarity levels of like one copy, two copies, three copies of a card sure. where three yep. is the most, right? But, like, it, you can't build a deck around, like, a 1x copy of a card because you may never see it and make it pillage, yada, yada, right? So it is more of, like, there's a lot more variance every time you play a single deck. So Sure, I feel I like yellow... A lot of games if, that... I feel like yellow deals with that. Like, if you don't like that, yellow has a way to put cards back in its deck. It's like, oh, this... But you still may not see it, right? Sure, of course. Um, Because you're not drawing not not as many cards either. Yep. Yeah, you're not not drawing a lot of cards. You you probably only go through half, probably, in the course of a game. Usually at most, I think, just for how... Well, I mean, depends how pillaged. Like, I've certainly lost to pillaging in Sky Terror before. I just mean, like, the cards you're playing and stuff. Like, you, you probably only actually, like, see... That is actually actual, like a third to half your deck, I would imagine. Sky Tour Horde definitely like, has saying, better like, variety, I feel like, in enemies, because not only the enemy, but they each have their own, like, minion set, which is similar to Modular here, except it's, like, the whole thing you play. Like, the, the enemies themselves don't have their own deck of cards. So I, I feel like there's more variety in enemies, certainly because there's only one villain released so far for um, Ashes. Um, and yeah. I know you say there's more deck building and I mean, you're certainly more of an expert than I am at it, but I don't know with ashes. I still don't know that. I feel like the cards are all that interesting. Um, for me, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Like I said, I'm, that's why I'm playing through multiple heroes, but it kind of feels like you're going to put a spell book down. You're going to be summoning some stuff and you're going to have some cards that like buff them up or do whatever. Like, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not super impressed by the variety, even though there's a lot of cards. It's not as bad as something like um, Aeon's End, where the cards just all seem kind of the same. But there's a lot of similarities with the cards. I, I mean, they all have a little. I mean, here, I mean, conjurations are just a type, are just a type in the 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 game, though. Um, sure. Uh, I mean, it, uh, Ash is a dueling game, so I think the kind of cards you're gonna get are very much of the play style that you're not going to see in a champions uh, necessarily like sure um there's uh there's like you, you have the typical like magic the gathering type of strategies like you can build a deck that's around milling the enemy deck right that's just not a that's actually like bad for you in this game like you don't want to mill the encounter deck right but like no, that's a strategy in them. that no you can yeah you can fatigue them. Them. that's actually good for you Although it's, I've never even gotten through their deck once, let alone twice. I think that would be. Well, ridiculous. I mean, the, it's only eighteen <laughs> cards, so like it actually isn't that many. But I'm just saying, like that's just not a strategy you see in champions, right? Like you don't actually want to sure burn through the encounter deck because it's bad for you, right? Um, and so yes. I think like I Unless think you just haven't seen enough. She does that. You probably just <laughs> haven't seen enough of the card pool. But like, I do think you know at the end of the day like it's like champions, right? Like there's a certain set of things you're trying to do. And there's like variations around how you get there. Um, and how you play it is different. But I guess for me, there's I, not as many knobs cause it's more like attack defense life, whatever. Now I get that there's like growth cards and stuff like that. And look, magic's done a great job over the years with just having cards that basically do damage. Um, I feel like it's comparable to that, but I almost find it, less like i don't know i don't love the dice mechanic um for Ashes reborn either um i mean i play it a lot so it's not like i don't like the game but there are definitely things i'm like yeah i don't know it's fine but I- yeah i mean I, I guess where the construction is super interesting to me is that you can pick it's like wide open beside the signature set you can pick actually anything you don't even have to put your signature cards in like yep. they're actually optional so you have a 30 card deck 
You have signature cards that are specific to your Phoenix Born that you can include. You can pick any 10 dice in any composition you want. So it actually is a lot more like Lord of the Rings where it's just like, you don't have to be able to pay for that thing. You just have to be able to cheat it into play somehow. Like, sure. you can include it in. You can include dead cards in your deck, right? Like, you don't have to be able to play it. Um, and then you can also even include dice just for their um, but, yeah, abilities. Benefits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is really neat and interesting because it allows you to kind of... Because I think the dice are actually... Like, you said you don't like them as much, but I think they're a really neat part of the game uh, that they do give you these abilities. Like... Like you may not want to spend a dice because you want the ability or vice versa or whatever. And you have to like make these hard choices sometimes because uh, I, I think what's interesting about that game for me is that uh, dice are almost more important than card cards in your hand. Um, like I'm almost more willing to like burn cards in my hand because I tend to go through my dice much okay. faster. Um uh, just because the abilities are actually really strong, right? Like nature ones, just ping a damage and being able to do a damage to anything on the board is actually a really strong ability Absolutely. in red yep. rains. Um, and so like, sometimes you're off by one to like take out that unit or whatever. Um, and so having that at your like fingertips is like really interesting, but like maybe you have, there's like that wolf one that allows you to basically bring an ally from your discard back in your hand at the cost of one damage. Yeah. Um, so you can basically like cycle allies back into your hand. And so that like can change, you know, like how you're playing stuff. Uh, so I, I don't know. I, I do think there's like a lots of strategies in that game. Um, sure. But I mean, we have to remember like it's a four turn game and most of what you're trying to do is get allies on the board to attack them. Um, and, and every deck's going to do it in a different way and every deck's going to have different kind of allies and stuff. But, like, at the end of the day, um, I mean, I guess you could simplify everything that way. I just feel like with champions, like, the, the decision between thwarting and attacking is interesting. Like, there's, I, I feel, there, there's no second path, right? There's no second thing you're worried about. Whereas, like, even Skyfair Horde has the minions that, like, mill through your deck. And, like, you could lose in that way or you could lose in the other way. Um like ashes. Yeah, I, I do still think it's you just you haven't attacked them. Played it. I mean, I, I, played I feel like seven maybe you or eight games. Played enough. Like I feel. But do you not agree then? If somebody's played seven or eight games, I, they I, should have played enough by now. To I don't know. I, I mean, that? just from what you're saying, it sounds like no. Like there's a whole milling precon, right? Where like the whole point of the thing is to survive long enough to mill the Chimera's deck, and then you you're basically forcing them to draw a card so they take damage. Like, that is not about attacking. Like, yes, you put units on the board, but, like, they're basically guard units to, like, keep you alive. Like, you are not trying to, like, get big ally units to basically bust them down. But if you're not um, killing their stuff, they're not going through their deck. Uh, well, you're forcing them to draw. You're forcing the Chimera to draw. Like, to that is what... Or whatever, yeah. But then they're yeah, getting so you're like, like a million red rain tokens every turn, and you're just going to freaking get blown up that way if you're not killing the units on the board. Yeah, I mean, that the whole point is to stall and survive, right? Like, that is, yeah. that is well, that's the precon. Obviously, like, you can change the deck and stuff. You can put status stuff on the Chimera. You can exhaust it. You can exhaust their stuff. Is uh, there a way to break those cards back into the precons? Like, is there a way to know? Like, do they give you a list of what's in them? Cause, like, no, I, I, look, I, I look them up online. Okay, because I'm just like, like terrified to break up Mike's stuff because I don't even. So like I don't even yeah, know the, that I'll ever there, make a deck there because it's like there, there's a there's a, a deck builder that's pretty good, um, and basically they have a thing where you can flick the radio button and it'll show you all the pre-constructed decks. Gotcha. So then you can pick if you do that by the like Phoenix Born, you will get the one list that is their pre-constructed deck. Gotcha. So you can get all the cards together. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to binder all my cards now, so. Uh, I'm doing it by precon essentially. Yeah, so. I'm curious what you think of Keyforge, because to me Keyforge kind of turns everything on its head, because it's not about dealing damage; it's about controlling keys and things like that. But you still have the fighty aspects and stuff like that. I mean, to me, that's what makes that game great, because it it takes the paradigm of what you expect every game to be, and like turns it on its head, because it's not about what you think it's about. Um, even though there's plenty of fighting, killing, and doing all this other stuff. 
Um, I think you'd love the combos. I think you'd love the card play. I think you'd get over the fact that you're not constructing your own deck and maybe learn to love dealing with what you have to deal with. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. I mean, I think I'll enjoy it and it's fine, but like, I do think constructed decks are the sweet spot because I enjoy the meta as much as actually playing, right? Like, like part of the fun of champions is like solving and finding the combos to pull together. And it's not, it's like, oh, this new card came out. Like what deck can I slot that in? Like, that's a big enjoyment of this game for me. Sure. Um, and that's just not a part of Keyforge by design. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. It, like, that is just, that's that game, right? Um, I think the meta is the chase in that one as much as anything. It's like, oh, I really like this. I hope I get a deck or let me buy or trade for a deck that has that. Um, which, again, is not going to be everybody's cup of tea for sure. But I, I mean, think that's exactly what I don't want out of a card game meta, though. Is well, but like I bought for my favorite deck, like my favorite deck that I won a tournament at Gen Con with, um, I bought for 15 bucks online and normal decks, 10 bucks, right? Like you can search for whatever you want online. Like, like there's like decks of Keyforge is a site that literally has like, yeah, I, you, I think you say, that's I want fine. Two copies of this in the deck and like, and I want these three houses or whatever. And like you search and like, then you can look through all the decks that have that. Um, yeah, so, I, I guess that's just not like generally on paper as exciting to me, like yeah. as a meta thing, like as a business model. Like I think one of the coolest things of the whole LCG thing that kind of sold me on it was uh, like being able to go to a like local play group or whatever, like just playing with anyone, right? Yeah. And seeing cool things that they do, and then being able to actually just like replicate that yourself at yeah. home. You definitely you own don't everything. Have that um, yep. I think that's like really fun, right? Like people come to our stream, see decks and stuff that we play and like they may not take our whole deck, but they might be like, oh, that was a really neat combo, you know, that I didn't think of, right? Yeah. Um, and I can just go and do that. Um, uh, uh, and then playing yes. people net deck and I think that's fun, but I, I also enjoy the exploration part. Yeah. Now, I mean, the one thing I'll say is Keyforge co-op was fine and it wasn't great for sure. I think it was better solo, um, not as great for co-op. The second one was it, much better. The Kraken one, Key Kraken one was terrible. Um, cooperative. It was fine solo. Um, Do you like it less than, than Sky Terror? I mean, Sky Terror, like the thing that brings me back to Sky Terror is that you have so many villain combinations. There's like a million things you can do with that game. I, I think it's... Keyforge is suffering from the same thing Ashes is right now, which is there's one villain to fight against. And, like, yes, there's two decks of enemies that you'll play against, but they don't, they also don't seem different enough to me to care. Like, I couldn't tell you what one does better than the other one. Um, I, yeah, I could. That's a lie. But, I mean, it's not, it's, it's more subtle than overt in my mind. Um, Whereas I feel like the differences in the Sky Terror enemy decks are more substantial. And the villains themselves, like, there are just so many more of them. And they feel different from each other. Yeah, I, I think that's rooted in um, the fact that Sky Terror is designed ground up for solo co-op. Uh, I think one of the restrictions that Ashes still has is that they don't want to piss off their PvP community. So... Uh, that expansion has, I think, more player cards in that pack than, or just as many player cards, right? Like, you get an entire deck. You get one deck, and you uh, get, like, three or four heroes, although some of them are repeats, for sure. Well, plus plus signature cards for heroes, too, right? Well, right. right. I mean, it's just three cards for each hero. So you basically have one deck. Well, I mean, they're 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 net new they're net new signature cards for heroes that you already own. If you own wait, are they collection. are they different from the heroes themselves? What, they're they're the same heroes, but you get a totally new set of signature oh. cards okay. for those heroes that come in. So like so like you can actually swap them right or mix them. Like you could say, I want 
two copies of this card from the old thing and one copy of the new one. Could you put all six like, in? Like as the, you can't put all six in. Oh, so it's you only max three, three. I think. Okay. Yeah, it's max three. Um, so I think there's that, and so that's what they're using to appeal to the PvP thing. That I think like Sky Tier, I guess Sky Tier kind of has like the portal whatever stuff and things. Yeah, I have but no it, interest in playing that PvP. I, I think they have leaned a lot more yeah. into this scenario, um, and so they've benefited from like a more traditional core set thing. And I don't think Ashes Reborn has, I think is, um, JC has not like, I think they have to straddle the line a little more, if that makes sense. Well, I mean, good news is I, I feel like Keyforge has committed now. I mean, especially like they took all this stuff to Gen Con and they sold out like pretty quickly. Um, with but the, like the they PBE didn't commit stuff. on the game found page. Like for well, they didn't commit to anything set. on the game found page. Like they were very wishy-washy because they didn't know how it'd go. Um, but I, I mean, it went very well. So I imagine that, that they're going to continue doing quite a bit of sky tear or, or, uh, not sky tear of, uh, key forge. So, but key forge, I believe they're at least somewhat committed to solo co-op. If I had to guess ashes reborn seems to be as well. And then sky tear horde. So that's a couple options. So I'm assuming for you it's ashes. As far as if over you're Sky Terror, one of these games, yeah, it's going to be Ashes. I, sure. I I think it really depends on what you're looking for. Um, I don't know if it's like one or the other, right? Like, okay. I think if you want a game that, uh, maybe is more different from Champions, uh, but you know, again, Ashes has the same set of like you are beating down a boss. Like, I feel yep. like they both are, right? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I I think I think the turn stuff is just very different kind of playing. Yep. Um. And so if you're looking for a different kind of puzzle um, that maybe is a less traditional card game and has probably deeper deck construction, in my opinion, uh, than Champions, um, because you wanted more of that, I think maybe Ashes is worth a look. Um, but if you want something that uh, is different, um, maybe has a little more inconsistency in how you're drawing cards, so you get a lot more replayability out of a specific deck, but you will feel at home with all the kind of other card mechanics. Um, but, uh, you know, you really enjoy that tactical feel. I think Sky Terror is like a great game in that sense. Yeah, I'm definitely leaning Sky Terror in this. Um, I'm, I'm still having fun playing Ashes. But again, I'm starting to get tired of fighting against the same boss over and over. But I mean, that's a matter of time as well. We know that. Um, have you have you mixed the, the aspect decks for the Chimera? What do you mean? Shuffled them together? You're, well, you can you can basically hand pick an eighteen card deck out yeah. of all the aspects that are available to you in theory. I mean, I have not done that for sure. I just switch them out. I use one or the other. Um, but it's fine. I mean, like I said, I, I'm still having fun with it. I am having fun exploring it. I just, for me, it's still Sky Terror. I, you know me though. I like simpler, faster games, and deck construction isn't important to me. I'll play pre-cons all day. Um, I mean, that's what I'm doing for both of the games anyway. Um, but I don't feel like I... I have no desire to deck build for either of the games at this point. Actually, I have more interest in deck building for Sky Terror. Because uh, I feel like it is actually interesting how you have to do it. Now, you've probably done it. I haven't done it yet for Sky Terror. But I feel like it's at least a little interesting. Because it's, it's all based on your castle, right? Like, and even yeah, in the same faction, you like. I I feel like every time, like, I feel like my problem with like so the Sky Tier has a much more restrictive deck construction thing, um, yep. with the colors and stuff you can pull in. I feel like the thing that like makes me sad, uh, which is maybe a boon for you, is just like I'll play car. I've played all the pre cons, and I'll think about it. Oh, like it'd be neat to mix these two things together, and more often than not, I can't put those things together and that makes me sad oh okay like i'll be like oh wouldn't it be cool if you could like put weapons on like the blue people who can heal right you well, know yeah, and it's just like can't... oh turns out you can't mix those or just like yeah. Red oh wouldn't it be cool if you mix could... and yellow and green don't mix but, but yeah and it's just like i feel like like the things that don't mix oftentimes are like the natural combos you would actually think of from playing the game and every time it's just like Oh yeah, you can't mix those together. Now I like... will say, in the regular Sky Terror game, they did eventually start mixing those factions. So at some point, you'll probably get 
some of what you want because all they have to do is put on another castle right and they're like oh yeah they, here's have, a they red just castle have different castles that allows green or whatever yeah because the all the deck building and that's what's interesting is on the back of like the castle you play so that also gives you a special power for the turn and it basically tells you how you can deck build so yeah yeah i, I actually find that uh sky terror is more restrictive but also has felt harder to deck build for if that makes sense like um i think you said this in the well it's harder in the sense that like i think it's hard to find inspiration for deck building um i i think uh i think if you're looking at deck construction from a marvel champions lens ashes probably feels a little more at home for you because i think like how you approach deck building and and ashes of course can be different or you can do whatever you don't have to include your signature stuff but i think the fact that you have a little more grounding even though the rules are more open the fact that you can look at your phoenix born see what they do look at their signature cards you probably want to use them the first time you go around building a deck for them and kind of see like what that phoenix born does gives you a little more guidance and i feel like like you said in the podcast like like, there's a huge difference between phoenix born i mean oh 100 one signature ability and they have um like three cards and that's it and the rest you can literally build one deck and play with all the different phoenix born yeah but like those signature cards are like silver snake for man and viper like she's the only one that has that so like you want to build stuff around status effects uh because i guess she but i, that, I feel right? like not everybody's signatures are that interesting Maybe that's or or is. like or like like these are like these Phoenix Born I'm talking about are literally in the master set like like the core the, set I don't know where you're yeah. starting from. Um, well, I don't know what I'm grabbing from either, honestly, because Mike just has a bunch of decks in the thing, and I'm just looking to use. I different, I, I think um, I think you should time. you should look up um the hero the Phoenix Born from the master set and play those first like six or whatever because I think they feel very different in their precons. Okay. Um, and you because might be playing stuff like all the way play... at the end. Well, I did play a couple of games with um, just the ones from the expansion, right? Because I was like, okay, let me just start with those heroes. So I did play three or four games with those, just that one deck over and over. So half of my games are probably just with that one deck, just with different heroes. Because that deck, like I said, it comes with four heroes or something. And I didn't play all four of them. I played like three of them, I think. So yeah, about yeah, half, I, a little less than half I, my games are played with just that starting deck. I I, I would definitely recommend looking up because uh, it's in the rule book actually, like the Ashes Reborn rule book, not the, the one from Reigns. Yeah, the one point five book. If you look at the back, it shows all the heroes that come with that. Yep. I would play those precons because I think they do feel different. Okay. Um, and uh anyways like i do think the fact that like they give you a little more leaning um uh i agree with you from the pod that the castles feel very weak in like what to deck build around like their abilities tend to not be like they're there like the mutagen one that that allows you mutagen or whatever like it's there but it it doesn't feel like super like it feels like the cards actually in that that uh you know faction are more interesting than the castle themselves well the castle i most of the time just use to draw a card um if anything um, i usually well the other castle doesn't even do that right like yeah. in each faction only one of them allows you to draw cards oh, but I just like it it, fe- it 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 just feels like some castles are actually have that but like it's not a general thing like i almost don't care what the castle's ability is most of the time so far and when i've done deck construction in sky terror right. so that's where i find it's a little harder to do deck construction yes you're looking at less cards but like it doesn't point you in a direction i think that oftentimes like marvel does with like i pick this hero and i kind of try to build a thing around what it's trying to do see to some degree i like that better though because then i can just try whatever i want and try a bunch of different stuff um now but i think you're right also the rng is so prevalent in that game that like even the choice to me of like which two heroes to include out of the three that I have for in Sky Terror, like, like I sit there and I look at those and I'm like, okay, this game I want to try these heroes and this game. I want... So, but there's no guarantee I get any of the heroes drawn, right? So, like, yeah, which, which is funny when you compare it to Ashes because it's like really the complete opposite when you get the first five where you can yeah, really which, take I your mean, starting to me hand. Is also another negative, but uh, that's 
that's another story for another day. Like for me, the first turn, like I feel like not only is the villain the same every time, but I'm going to have the first same five cards. So my first turn is going to be not identical. Obviously, you still have to deal with what they put out. But like, I mean, the first five usually seems pretty obvious to me. And because I don't, like I don't build up cards. And I like, don't know if it it is always obvious, but um, like it, like it's definitely like sequencing and stuff matters. Like I definitely change up my first five from game to game. But I feel uh, like you're I gonna, thought... for the most part, play the same first five, and for the most part, you're gonna play them in the same order. Like, yes, it'll be affected by what the villain's doing, of course. But I don't know. Like for me, talk about like too formulaic. Like, I like the chaos, though. That's why I like something like Keyforge, where I'm given a deck and I have to play it better than the other person. Like, I like the playing, whereas I feel like you like the constructing as much as the playing. Uh, I mean, I, I guess that for me, like, uh, Ashes does both. Like, it is both the playing and the constructing. Sure. Like, I, I, think, I think the play... Every time I play Ashes, I am learning stuff because I am not good at it yet. Uh, and I'm constantly making mistakes of like sequencing and like what to play and when. Um, and I, like the Khmer will do a thing. I'm just like, crap, I should have done that other thing instead where I was like thinking about two things and I pick one thing. Yeah. Um, no, you're probably and... playing the much higher levels than I am as well. Cause I'm still for the most part playing the starter stuff. I mean, not that it's that um, much different. I mean, it's just way harder, right? Cause you have much, you have more cards out that you have to deal with every turn and, um, so I'm yeah. still playing like the basic low level stuff for the most part. I mean, they're not that much different. It's like one extra card and a couple extra life, but um, I'm sure that ramps up the pressure. Uh, whereas I just want to explore the decks right now and I'll figure later I'll ramp up the difficulty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One here I had, I think I won with like two health or something in a game. So it was like pretty close. Like I could have gotten one shot at any point if like I rolled bad, badly. Uh, I kind of feel like, like that's every game attack. too, though. I feel like they're all pretty close. I don't know. My games have been. Which is good. I mean, well-tuned, right? Yep. Cool. All right. Well, if you like this kind of discussion, this is <laughs> CCG, uh, CCGers or whatever it's, we're going to call it. Are, are you committing? Is it happening? I mean, no, like, I want to hear what people have to say as well. Like, do you want to see us play these games like that we just talked about tonight? Um, you know, we could probably play both of them in one night um, because they're both fairly straightforward and fairly quick as long as they have mods on TTS. Um, I know Ashes definitely does. Um, well, because then I, Chaos, I'm... Chaos oh. Theory from the Marvel Champions community that uh, maintained or used to be part of the Marvel Champions community maintains the ashes one and he put up all the red rain stuff on it already cool and i'm i know sky terror horde has it as well so um now we have to import the decks or whatever and if you want a deck build that would be a whole thing you could do but you'd have to do it kind of off to the side i'm curious about co-op now that i think about it do you both deck build from the same restriction are you talking about sky terror sky terror you pick a castle you but each only pick a play different one castle. That's you right. You pick a different castle, but only one castle actually is in play. Yeah. It's kind of janky, actually. I mean, not really. Because the, the castles really just tell you the deck building. Because as we said, the powers aren't that interesting. Um, so for me, it's just the deck building part of it um, from the castles. But again, I also have a deck build. But anyway, let us know what you think. <laughs> um you know, if this is the kind of thing you want to see different games or if you're happy seeing Marvel Champions every week. Um, and let me know, because if we're going to do this, I think Friday night would have to be more diverse than just Marvel Champions all the time. Um, because I don't think I have more days in my week. You know what I mean? <laughs> like to fit in more streaming. So I think it would be now look. If there's a new Marvel Champions release, we're playing Marvel Champions. You know what I mean? I don't know if it would be the same for these other games where, like, we're going to drop Marvel Champions to play this other stuff. I think Marvel Champions would still be our main Friday nights. It would just be we'd throw something else in every once in a while. 
Um, now, if we we're going to commit to an Arkham campaign, obviously that would take us out for like a yeah. Month. I, I feel <laughs> like that's the that's my kind of concern with Arkham is that yeah. our, if we pick it, are we committing to eight eight weeks of Arkham then? Because it's like usually an eight scenario campaign. I feel um, like you can usually fit two in in a night. That's the way we've always played it. Um, while streaming and stuff, I don't know if that's true. Yeah. Yeah. We, no. No. No post stream discussion. Obviously. <laughs> um. Yeah. I, I think the benefit of uh. Well, the new one isn't uh, there two four campaigns. Uh, that's like Dream Eaters. Yeah. Um. Yes, there are two. There's like one in the real one in the Dream World. Yeah. So we could do something like that. So, so one one of the campaigns we can do. Right. Uh, that's what I'm in saying. Session. Yeah, um, you do something like that. Maybe you do two in one night and then one one or something or two and two. Just, you know, we depending on how long they take. So, yeah, I, I do think the benefit of at least the other two games we talked about tonight is that they don't release as often right. as. Well, actually, I don't know. I, I don't know how often Marvel Champions releases, like what the release cadence is these days. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like once a quarter or something for Ashes and there is not a cadence for sky tier right so we're we're maybe getting a second kickstarter announcement thing on in may and who knows when it will actually get into people's hands sure but i feel like you could even do a new section on that more interestingly as well like whenever there is something new you could get excited about it um you you hate spoilers peter for marvel well a lot of it for me is i do want to experience it live the first time now i've started doing unboxing for marvel champions so that's kind of takes away a little of the excitement for the first play for me but it's still it, it also creates less mistakes on the first play which i think is better for our audience i think they like it when i don't screw up 50 things when i'm playing it but you know anytime you play something for the first time especially if you've not looked at it before you're bound to make some mistakes and some some heroes are more complicated than others um, or at least appear. And so you can at least, if you unbox it first, figure out whether <laughs> that's something that's, uh, you know, you can figure out all those potential tricky spots. Um, but anyway, all right. It's almost one o'clock in the morning here. I don't know that my son has gone up to bed yet, so I'm going to go take care of that. Cool. Happy good weekend, everyone. All right. Bye. Bye.